Mm. Ah! Welcome back to more off stream divinity. Um I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, we're we're continuing on. Um we got the boat moving. Uh that's too heavy for me. Wait, can he carry this? How much is this worth? I just wanna know. A lot. Alright. All of this is wares. All of this is being sold. I don't think he has bartering anymore, so. I think I'm the one that's handling the money now. I have a lot of stuff, Jesus. Oh, this is the uh, the key to that room, huh? I don't know if I need to keep that, but. We will, um, we will continue forward. So, I got a, a, just a little bit of a tiny bit of light spoilerage uh, for myself uh, I guess we played a little bit more of the um, a group campaign but those are kind of uh, or the big one is kind of on hold for right now because some of our uh, some of our, our players in that campaign can't exactly are not in a, in a place to be playing video games unfortunately which uh, kind of sucks but it's whatever at the very least, it opens me up to be able to just fucking run through my solo run uh, and experience the game the best way that I can and such. My god. Okay. That's good. That's fantastic. Okay. Um, yeah. Toothless smile stretches across her face. That's what's happening. I don't think I have anything else to do on this boat. I think we're good. It most certainly is. Forward. Okay, good. We still got achievements enabled. I was kind of worried because I play with, with some mods in some of the other campaigns, so. The God Woken watched Fort Joy shrink behind them. of the Lady Vengeance had not gone unnoticed. Oh no. This raw demon's army will have I respect your method. I see. You steal my ship, kill my bishop and ally with demons. But you have no idea what you're really dealing with. We are ready, mistress. Yes, but are they? I swear, mistress. I swear they'll perform admirably. <laughs> Very well. Show me. Goodbye, sword. Oh no. Ah, and they're all dead. Oh, for the love of a void. That's unfortunate. Listen up. We can't win this one. What is this formation that they've put us in? What the fuck? Show us what you can do, God Woken. I kinda wanna try and win this fight. Like straight up. I'm pretty sure there's two achievements for this. Um where you uh you win without killing anyone and then you win by killing everyone. Let me check real quick. Is what I would say. I actually don't care. Fuck it. God woken. Parasite survivor. I'll take care of it, mistress. <laughs> oh, I hate that. But why? Wait, why do they get to go twice? Okay, she didn't do anything on her turn, so it's whatever. Alright, um, so I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go 
right to here and see what kind of arrows I have. I don't have any knockdowns, that's kind of annoying. need to learn I need to get pyromancy probably so I can have some setup just a little bit but I don't have enough AP to actually make that work out and also I have those who would do that for me in theory why are th all of these people get to go before us that that's usually not how initiative works I'm kind of confused but it's fine um Shit, what do I do here? <laughs> These guys do a lot of damage, actually. Like, quite a bit. Um. Oh, wait, not that one. I don't know if this works. It does. Good. Okay. Um. Who would get hit by this? Not enough people. That's unfortunate. I've got a lot of scrolls. I've got a lot I can do, but not a lot I can do. If that makes any sense. There's nothing to really grab from here. I could pick this up and make sure it doesn't get used against me. How heavy are oil? How heavy is the stuff that I have in my inventory right now? 72. Oil barrels are like 20, right? Why do I have so many spell books? Jesus. Okay. Why is this in my inventory and not somebody else's? So many questions to be asked. <laughs> Alright, um... I have all of this shit. Oh yeah, I was gonna recruit a wizard or not a wizard an elf and I never got to that okay that's it I think I don't think there's a whole lot I can do here I could pick this up that's fine I don't like that just suddenly has magic armor now, which is incredible. to not walk into the fire if possible does this reach it does I'll do this it's not gonna it's only gonna knock one person down but I think that's kind of worth it you motherfucker that's half my health that does a lot huh What are you doing? I'd like you to not do whatever the fuck it is you think you're doing. Uh, Cause I promise it's not going to work. <laughs> okay, these guys have a lot of like regular health and shit. Which is kinda weird. Oh, he still has the gloves, doesn't he?
Oh. Yeah, fuck you. Go back to where you started. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm gonna do a provoke. I hope he's tanky enough for this. You'll be fine, probably. Maybe. I hope. <laughs> okay. Um... I think what we be definitely do is, um, summon this guy. We could... Uh, we could summon him up there, but then he doesn't... He doesn't get anything up there. I think we just kind of leave that guy be up there. <laughs> I kind of want to get Beast into the action, but then that kind of leaves her open to being killed by whatever. <laughs> so... trying to think. How much armor does he have now? A lot, still. I want to have no more. Oh, that costs three. Fuck. Alright, who's low? Me, actually. And I'm bleeding. And I'm encumbered. I don't have the range to really hit anybody with this. Or really hit the person that needs to be hit with it. I should probably heal myself, actually, because I'm about to explode. Let's do that. And that's going to hurt a lot. Where are you going to be? Oh, he's going to be going all the way down there, huh? I wonder if you can cast Fireball from somewhere else. He's gonna take an attack. That's unbelievably annoying. But we're gonna do it anyway. That's fine. That did a lot of damage. This is also going to hit him, isn't it? That's kind of annoying. Uh, shit. There's also this other guy right here. Fuck it, set it all on fire. What's the worst that could happen? try. Oh yeah! The fucking boat helps us. Okay. Sick. Trash. Is interrupted. Man, if only I could move, right? Alright, where's that fucking barrel? Barrel! Don't tell me I'm gonna move when I do this. Okay. I'm gonna go to here and help out over here. 
Who's not taunted this guy? I also got a bunch of fucking armor, which is really annoying. Oh wait, shit. Oh, I can't cast because I'm muted, but I can do this. What? That's kind of weird. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but you know what? That's all right, I guess. I hope Lois doesn't die. It's not looking very good. <laughs> She's gonna fucking explode. Well, no, she has... How much magic armor does she have? 186. I think she'll be alright. <laughs> Maybe. Hopefully. If not, then... I don't know. something. Oh, yes! That's actually good. <laughs> He's doing something. He's doing things. Okay, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. What the fuck? Why do you do so much damage? <laughs> Alright. We should walk out of the fire. It's gonna hit me when he explodes too. Shit. That's not good. <laughs> what if I teleport someone off the edge? Can I do that? Can I just like... No, I can't. I would. Man, the placement they put us in is kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we're all standing in that water. That was probably not the best idea, but it's whatever. I just need to wear down this fucking... Because everybody's got magic armor, so it's like... Like, I need that to not be a thing. Oh, I'm getting in there. Oh, he heals from fire damage. That's kind of crazy, actually. How's he feeling? Half? Okay, still half. Ooh, get fucked. Shut up! I'm doing the thing, okay? They're just three of them around you. Don't stop. It's, it's kind of tough. And they fucking cut my uh, people in half. Okay. Um. Shit. Let's encourage, right? You can do it. I believe in you. All right, him moving doesn't matter because, yeah, because he's already like next to her. I'm gonna heal. Actually, he can heal himself, can he? Not sure. She's still full health. She'll be fine. But let's do that. Wow, you're still hitting her, huh? That's kind of crazy. How's she feeling? Not very good. Alright. He has a lot of health. What the fuck?
Alright, that's the turn. Where are you going? Okay. What? What are you doing? Why would you do that? Why? Okay. Okay, Gareth. You got it, I guess. at the very least stop him from taking his next turn, right? Okay, she's dying. She might just die, honestly. She kind of sucks, but, I mean, it'd be like those... as far as we can. He's coming back. You fucking idiot. Haha. -ha. Uh, I'm gonna go give him something to hit. And make him take an opportunity attack if he wants to do anything else. Oh, he might die. Is what I would say. I think that's the last turn. It sounds like it, maybe. Can you shut up? Oh my god, why did they keep attacking her? Ah. Not the Necrofire. That's, uh. That's actually not good. Alright. I think I have arrows for this. Maybe. I do have arrows, but there's a lot of people over there that I don't really want to fucking injure. <laughs> yeah. I get set up for the next turn with this, right? to hit somebody that what why for what 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 does that accomplish <laughs> all right gotta remember we do have potions okay can you get him I think that kills him actually oh opportunity attacks yes okay it doesn't matter we're going in does not kill him but I will have to drink a potion here. Wait, is he? He is. Fuck. You fucking idiot. I didn't realize he was decaying. I don't know how that status got on him, but it's on them. Uh, I don't think that's good. That's no, fine. Oh, he's uh, he's charmed, so it doesn't matter. 
Okay, good. Now neither of you get to play the game. Oh, wait. Who needs healing? I do, actually. Prepare yourself. Um, I don't think there's anything else I really need to do. I could encourage, I guess. Let's do that. Fuck it. Okay. Uh, whose turn is it? Los. She is kind of dying, but kind of not. No Check this fucking geometry, bro. Whatever. Um, who's around her? Does this hit? Beast? It does not. Bitch. Okay, she does need to be healed though, so I don't know, maybe I should work on that. Or something. Go get him. Who goes next? Oh, the Geist. He's knocked down. And then the Hammer, who doesn't do anything. Yeah, she just kind of yells. <laughs> and then the fu Oh, wait, that's it. That's the whole thing. We did it. We survived. With the help of the half demon malady, the God Woken escaped through the veil that separates life from death. We did it. Da, 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 the air here has a familiar smell, like the place you grew up. Old memories begin to well within you, but the sweet sour smell of decay suddenly punctures them. I have the been here before. Creaking sounds in the distance. Oh no. What is happening? A tree. What's hanging from it? Not the tree. Do you have anything to say about this? I, the giant, takes notice of. He does not. I'm gonna go grab that. Can I? I can. For, but I want it. Must be a way across. We just walk. Relic. The gods. Are they dead? How can this be? First branches slither away from Ralik, he raises his head. Green eyes glint with sudden fire from behind his helmet. Are we the first? The others, do they hang still upon the tree? Yes, they do. He strains at the ethereal ropes that bind him, resisting their grip. You must make haste. I am bound, but not defeated. Not yet. This is not the work of fate. It is the work of the void. It will come for our people. It will destroy us all. You are my chosen. Now you must become the champion of our kind. The champion of humanity. I have survived our enemies. You must do more than that. I cannot comprehend what it is, but you know full well what it wants. The void will not stop until it has devoured us all. That doesn't Thinks sound good. It has defeated me, defeated all the gods. But it underestimates human might. Your might. His eyes flash bright green. He struggles against his binds to no avail. You will show it. You will show them all. I will show them all. 
but there is a great well of possibility still untapped. You cannot stop until you ascend to the highest heights of your power. You cannot stop until you become divine. Lucius, you will be called to unite the powers of the Seven against the Void. Like Lucian, you will lead our proud people to preeminence. But unlike Lucian, your weakness will not lead you to foolish failure. He opens his mouth to respond, but stops and tilts his head, listening for something you cannot detect. I hear the Void. I hear it calling. I hear it laughing. It's, it's coming. It's here. If it finds you here, if it... Ralik's face twists Oops. in fear. He opens his mouth as if to scream, but no sound comes out. White hot cold pierces your heart like a blade. You are frozen to the spot. The burning cold pumps through you like a curse, and then... Oh, no! What's happened here? Where is everyone? Let's talk about it, gang. The same troubled look is visible on each face. You've seen the gods beaten and defied, strung up as a warning. Gods, schmods. They aren't interested in me, and I'm not interested in them. It seems whatever's inside me is more powerful than any of them anyway. Or at <laughs> least more cunning. I've got my weapon. I've got my wits. And now... Got a new enemy. If the void wants me, well, I say let it come. I'm ready. The void has been pushed back before by the power of mortals. The gods couldn't handle it, but maybe we can. I believe in us and our ability. I want to talk to the boat. back to the land of the living she is here still i can feel her death washed over me as we entered this place i felt many lives extinguish in a single moment but others still draw breath they are sheltering below decks i see i kind of like the boat dude Good character. We move. Damn, there's not even bodies around, dude. Holy shit. Hidden away somewhere. Safe from the storm. I wish I would have caught the beginning of that dialogue. Shit, man, that's crazy. Yeah. Nobody back here either, most likely. <laughs> At least I got my boys. Damn, nobody, nothing. Still got the lads. That's all that matters. this spirit vision this character can see spirits interesting oh what the fuck wait oh these are the other dudes ah, i see it's so cold i haven't felt cold in centuries what happened i just remember oh no no that can't so much for the eternals oh no Am I an asshole? 
I'm not an asshole. Not, am I an asshole? Is this character an asshole? Not really. This, this is not that much, at least. Wonderful. Oh, okay. What a fascinating experience. And I will be able to spend eternity studying you creatures. No more having uh -huh. to watch from the shadows. No more having to walk mysterious social tightropes. The skeleton pulls a notebook from the folds of his robes and starts scribbling. As you walk away, you hear him muttering about observations on the mortal races, volume one. So this is my party. We're locked Sabine in now. Spirit watches your approach like a spectator on a beach watches the waves roll in with a soothing inevitability. There we have it, don't we, dear? The final die has been cast and it's come up wanting. I do not know what awaits. I do not see where the dark paths lead. Forsake me now. Go hence and give chase to your mortal desires. From death, let me be death. The Red Prince's spirit stands bewildered, his spectral eyes beleaguered by disbelief. Defeated? I have been defeated. Impossible. Impossible. I hate this character. Nice. <laughs> but Red Prince does not perish. It's still kind of like Even damn. Here, like, hear the voices of destiny whisper. I will have my empire yet. I will have my empire yet. I'm sure, dude. I can't keep this up much longer. We need to go. There's no time. I can't hold us here. Brace yourself. This might hurt. Wait, I would like some answers. All right, no answers. Let's go, Pog. No answers. We must live a life forever shrouded the in mystery. Of all of Echoes clung to the Lady Vengeance as it returned to the shores of Reaper's Coast. I hear all my Marty the McFly shit. Were alive, but what of the gods? But what of the gods? Hmm? How do we feel about the gods? Okay, just checking my hard drive, making sure I have enough space to be recording this. We're good. I had at least 100 gigs freed, so. What's that question? Solid ground materializes beneath your feet. Your weight falls back into your body all at once, and bright sunlight stings your eyes. To clear out the fog of war real quick. Ah, those are just. All right. I guess I just can't see that. As your eyes adjust, you realize you're still aboard the Lady Vengeance. A gust of fresh sea air caresses you, and warm sunshine prickles your skin. <coughs> One moment, please. <coughs> oh, just a moment. Malady explodes in a fit of retching that racks her body. At last, she sneezes and expels a blob of something shiny and silver onto the deck. It wriggles quickly off the siding and plummets into the sea with a splash. Mm. Ah. Better. Let's not do that again anytime soon. Hmm? Very good. I'll feel far less put upon if you tell me you learned something useful on our little field trip. Desperate how? Oh, fine. One spooky magic, two only half a demon actually. My mother was a bitter elf named Loda. Three just a bit of leftover effluvia from the spell. Four more than I can count. Five something too horrible to mention by the light of day. 
Okay, I don't know what the last two answers are answering, actually. But that actually clears up a couple of things. <laughs> Spooky magic! Well, now that I've answered every question a sane person could conceive to ask of me in this moment, let's carry on. What did you see? I see. So, your god seemed uncharacteristically frightened, told you the void was coming, and that only you could ascend to divinity, after which you felt a cold deep within you. Well then, it sounds like you need to ascend, doesn't it? And quickly. She inspects her fingernails with great attention, then looks up at you from under an arched eyebrow. Did they mention how you were meant to become the next divine? Hmm, well, luckily for you, Mama Malady is here to help. We already know you can bless, okay. but as far as I know, you can neither see it nor take it as you see fit. Oh, nice. Yes, sir. I may not know much about divinity, but I do know that any god woken worth their salt will know how to perform all these hosy fantastic feats. You need to go see the Meister. Have I casted source spells before? Uh, she's got one of those things in Driftwood, you know, the building where people go and they do things inside of it. Uh, home, that's it. <laughs> it's a home in Driftwood. Ah, yes, of course. Give me your map. The home. There you are. Tell her I sent you and she'll handle the rest. You're at the beginning of a long journey, Godwoken. Long she seems like both at the same time very involved, but also like couldn't be fucking bothered. <laughs> now, it's funny you said. And so must you. Shopping. Ah. Why our faithful little sloop, of course. We can all ride together. Won't that be terribly fun? Before you go, mm -hmm. if I'm not back by the time you find out where our journey takes us next, you can call me back here. The ship, she'll know how to summon me. And in the unlikely case you don't manage to do whatever it is you'll need to do to become what you need to become, you could call me, but I would be grateful if it doesn't come to that. Mm -hmm. I can't even talk to her anymore. That's it, that's the whole thing. All right, what you got to say? Nowhere safe, red robed lunatics at sea. Those void woken seedlings in the swamp, it all points to the great acorn. It's coming, Quarkus. Mm -hmm. But it's too late, hmm? What is the Knights of Dre are too far ahead in their plans? At least here, our shield's ignorance can be forgiven, Quarkus. The Knights of Dre do not go out of their way to boast about their existence. You know their order, my friend. Mystic Squirrel Knights, sworn to the great acorn. Trying to bring about its return. The squirrel absent mindedly runs a paw over Quokus's spine. The air fills with the sound of soft, dusty purring. They plan to inherit the everlasting forest once the acorn drops and the world is rid of all giants. They believe that only the arboreal will and should survive. Thinks we are sitting here twiddling our paws, Quercus. Perhaps we haven't succeeded yet, but we have other worries. The Knights of Dre are a dangerous, dangerous or lunatic. A single minded devotion to bringing about the end of the world. Together, Quercus, we can develop some magic to save us from the Great Acorn if our shield can keep us alive. Yes, yes, it has done an admirable job so far. It certainly lasted longer than I thought it would. But does it understand that we could be wiped out at any moment? Does it understand the risk? It's an idiot, Quirkus. <laughs> God damn it. Still, it would be a shame to see any harm come to it. Here's a little something I uncovered in my research. The squirrel reaches out and touches your ankle. 
sending a hot flush rippling through your body. Now, listen carefully, shield. The plan is thus. Do not die. That's a good plan. <laughs> I like that one. We might just have a chance to complete That one's pretty good. We might make it Just do not die. Just don't just don't die. Easy. All right. Let's uh let's level up actually cuz we all leveled up. Um I think I just push more into finesse, huh? Okay. Um, I would like to learn some pyrokinetic, actually, so that I can learn haste. I only need one point in that, though. Haste and clear-minded. Clear, clear of mind. Whatever. So I'm going to do that. Um, yeah. Let's see. For you... I think you're doing more damage than tanking, so we're going to... We're gonna double up, fuck it. Um... extra point in strength. We're going to keep him doing tanking. Um, hydro, arrow, warfare. Let's go point in warfare. Make sure we can get those uh, equipments and spells and stuff. Intelligence. Let's... Um, Is this just from gear? Okay, I was about to say. Yeah, let's just push intelligence. Um, and then we'll give her... 2 plus gear from gear, 2 from gear. Um, I kind of want to give her some more summoning, honestly. Let's do that. <laughs> I should probably start working on her... Um, memory because she might need to uh, to memorize some new stuff soon I kind of want to talk to everybody so we're going to do that oh this is the kid that I rescued Hello again. that's twice now you've saved my skin and I think it's time to start repaying the favors I could fetch some stuff you need maybe Ma always said I was a great runner sure that's a lot of options wow what what the fuck we should. And push ball, parchment, antler, rabbit's ball, chicken foot, rat's tail, flower, fire arrowhead. Uh, metal plates, metal scraps, gill mushroom, da 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 da, puff ball, eye, all that shit. Hmm. Okay. I would like you to grab me. An antler. Sure thing. I'll start hunting. <laughs> Thank you. That's pretty cool. Uh, Cause I think I need those to make Jeez. knockdown arrows, and I need those very much. So. I question Siva's trust in her, but Malady's usefulness is self-evident. As Lucian said, you will be eternally gifted when you act in my name. Mm-hmm. I expect Malady has an answer to that. It seems she's got it all in hand. Paradise awaits, my friend. Not an actual paradise, of course. I don't think there's such a place in all of Rivalon. Paradise Downs. My parents still sow the soil there. And if the Order hadn't called me to its ranks, I'd still call their farm my home. I miss it. I miss them. They've been forever understanding of my duty. But I admit, I've been neglected. I have some wrongs to write. Nice. 
Going back to meet the folks. I see. I actually don't know what you do. Does she just, is she just like, if somebody dies and you can't bring them back, like, what's up? I want to talk to the boat again. <gasps> I can't talk to the boat again, dude. I want to talk to the boat. Oh, I can talk to the boat. Okay, good. Hello. Reaper's coast lies nearby. When you are ready to sail elsewhere, I shall bring you there. The wood of the sacred ancestor trees has long been coveted for its ability to resist magical attacks. The consciousness of the elf within was always lost when they were uprooted there. I am different. I think and feel. It is the work of Friedemann. Dallas wanted more than a shift. She wanted a warrior slave who was bound to obey. So Friedemann used force magic to keep me alive as I was torn apart and rebuilt. He made me feel every moment of agony, then marked my wood with a slave scar. When I was an ancestor tree, the mother tree demanded loyalty also, but at least I was one of many. Now I am alone. That's really fucking sad, dude. Man. <laughs> Man. That sucks. Whatever type of companion you need, I can provide. Right. Why is there a quest? Oh, I should probably talk to my, my lads. Let's see what's up. I should also check my quest. Make sure, uh... Okay. So I gotta talk to them. Um, I'm not entirely sure what Los will have me doing. But I kinda wanna go see what's up with the brig. Because I think that's the only other place where people are actually alive right now. So, Oh, wait, where's that guy? Where was the guy that was in this room? Where is he at? Is he just, like, chilling or something? Who are these dudes? Are they still here? Door's open. Maybe not. Wait, what's up with this? These, these dudes. <laughs> oh, these guys are mute, aren't they? As you approach, the silent monk puffs a bit of air from between her stitched lips. She seems agitated. The silent monk cocks his right ear towards you, then his left. He appears to be awaiting instruction. Uh huh. Alright. I might want to respect something. I don't know what I'm respecting though. No, I think I need two scoundrel. Okay, never mind. I was going to say I might respect Scoundrel, but on second thought, I think I'm fine. So we're not going to do that. Okay. I mean, who's our lore master? Okay, Loses. What do you do? You steal stuff. What do you do? Oh, you telekinetic stuff. Okay, so. Alright, moving on. Our telekinetic lad. All right, time to go to shore. The Reaper's Coast. Kind of a, not exactly what I was expecting. Poisoned fish. I'll take the not poisoned fish. Um, it's time to clear the way. That's such a useful ability just for that reason alone. Where are you going? Okay, I guess that works. 
The angelic figure stands upon a mosaic that depicts a dragon or a leviathan. You no longer look without, but within. You understand where your path must take you. Okay. I wonder what's down there. I'm gonna go look. There's a lot of dead fish that are also poisoned. Kinda worrying. And they're all poisoned. Fuck. Void tainted umber monkfish. Hmm. Clear the way. Damn, I'm actually, I'm just hoping to get like a fucking, oh, that's just a fishing rod. A non-poisoned fish, you know? Take that. But I guess it's just not in the cards. Maybe I just got really lucky that one time. Clear the way. Probably need to get you to clear the way a little bit more. Oh, I didn't. You could have just gone that way. That's crazy. They're all poisoned. I only got one fish out of that. Where are you going? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> We're walking in circles. Let's continue on. This is very, like... It's very muted, you know? It's not like a dark area, but it's like, there's color here, but there's not a lot. There's like a, a lot of fucking like stone and the fuck, it's like there's a like a gray hint, like toned everything. It's like anti-saturated, desaturated, if you will. <laughs> Pretty sure that's the actual term for it, but listen. Wait, why am I smelly? It's not good. How long does that last, do you think? I didn't want that. I don't want these. But. Get it out. You can hold those. Take that. That's a big fish. I'm going over there. shark lies gasping on the sand bleeding from the mouth and gills it turns its dark and soulless eyes to you its bloody gills open in search of water but find only air it gasps in the air struggling for the breath to speak its own blood froths at its mouth no dying gills <gasps> monsters in the water monsters in the sea monsters bigger <gasps> It looks at you with its cold, flat eyes, as if to say, do what you will. Then, it turns away and gets back to drowning in the bloody sunshine. Hmm. It looks at you with its cold, flat eyes. It looks at you with its cold, flat eyes, as if to say... <laughs> All right. Okay, that didn't do it. But this probably will. There we go. Alright. I'm taking it all. So there's some shit happening, huh? Shit's going down. Also, everything smells bad. Oh, let's talk to the lads, actually. Let's talk to them first. I'm not much of a landlubber, but sometimes I get no choice in the matter. Besides, there's business to take care of. I... I don't know. I've never been one for worshipping. I always figured if Duna really existed, he'd show himself. I mean, a 
Am I really supposed to ask some invisible dwarf in the sky to grant world peace? Or give me a pony? Yeah, it sounded like a waste of time to me. Same. But, uh, then he showed himself. He said he could help me free our people if I helped him. And I left with more questions than when I started. Malady said this Meister lady's the key, so we follow her lead. Beast pauses for a moment to consider whether he's forgotten anything important. I'd also appreciate it if we dealt with this Lohar fella. He's the key to unlocking this mess Justinia's made. I'll stop this operation downfall of ours, all right. And finding Lohar in these parts and dealing with him is the first step in doing just that. Well now, how's my favorite god woken? Ifan smirks and shakes his head. I'll spare you the tall tales we usually tell. When a new cub joins up with the lone wolves, we interrogate them. Then, uh, a very complex equation decides their new moniker. Yeah? I don't remember all the questions, but I remember enough to give you a lone wolf name if you want one. So tell me this. Which of yes, these I would love one. Most? A dark night, a filthy alleyway under shadows cast by the light of the full moon. That actually sounds perfect. Um, let's see. Felt tents in the desert oasis, the the sun burns down upon him. Alone and shaded by a forest canopy. That actually sounds a little bit better. Um, step silenced by soft brush underfoot. Anonymous in a busy city square full of hollering crowds and overpowering scents. Mask and dressed to the nines and an opera house moments before the curtain raises. No interest in another monk here. Uh... Ifan nods and raises his eyebrows, a slight smile brightening his face. And then, target in sight, what's your preferred execution method? Savage hammer the face, yeah, no. A droplet here, seizing there. Yeah. Unseen, set the throat. Whether calling down upon the elements or demons, you prefer the magical touch. You prefer the manipulate others doing the dirty work for you. Uh, unseen, definitely. Right. If Anne scrawls something on a little piece of paper and hands it to you, on the page in thick black letters... God fucking damn it. Silver claw. And of course, that won't do. I'll call you, uh... Shadow Raven. Shadow Raven, for the moment. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I went and stole this man's whole work. <laughs> Let's track down my old pack. And find out who's behind the contracts to kill Godwoken. Can't hurt to know who once is dead. If Anne smiles and salutes at you. I could have gone with the urban alley in the moonlight one, but uh because those kind of both fit this character well. Oh <clears throat> hey. What this old gaggler weirdos? She's all right. A lot of bark, but I think she really cares about what we're doing. Better that than a sweetheart who'd sooner watch you walk off a cliff than shout, Look out! I don't know about home, but I do sort of miss the gang I travel with now and then. Crawler, Mad Cat, Papa Joris for sure. Musicians, mostly. We all had our own stories, our own troubles. But when we were together and the music was with us, it was like none of that mattered at all. When you have people like that around you, you know, a family. Even rain feels like sunshine. Well, I think I should focus on getting this demon out of my head. And of course, I think you should help me. And I am if down. Pick up a few new source tricks along the way, so be it. Alright. So what have we got here? Look for Lohar. Uh, turn in the contract. Um, and we're still working on that. I do not want to wear the ring. We will not be doing that. Look out for tribal elves. Um, look for Meister Siba.
I can't make this inactive. Why not? All right. This is the what? What am I even doing right now? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Let's continue. Oh shit, this lady's dying, I forgot. Oh, okay. And she got carried off. Unfortunate, really. Kinda sad this doesn't count as high ground. But it's okay, I suppose. Because this does. Now they're all on fire. Damn, that's unfortunate. Okay, I'm gonna have him just. proceed forward and shit. I don't have anything that's, uh. I guess I can encourage. This isn't a really big fight. I don't know why I'm putting this much thought into it. Like at all. This is not a... This really isn't something that I need to be thinking this much about. Just walk over. Tell them they can't play the game. And that's, that's the whole thing. And like... I forgot I gave her glass cannon, so she just gets to like, go. You have, like, health and shit. Yeah, stop that. I haven't used this spell yet. I'm excited to see what it does. Oh, it really is just smite. That's crazy. Anyways. Dead. He was dead. Oh, I'm coming in. You thought you could play the game? No. Sit back down. <laughs> God damn it. What? That was a fast stand up. That's kind of crazy. Kind of weird, bro. You're not dead yet. You're on fire. I think you die next turn. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. 25, 26. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead as fuck. Anyways. No game. Ouch. I may have shocked myself. It's fine. Alright. Do any of these have, like, loot? Shit. I would guess not. Don't need no fucking giblets. And shit. I was going to clear the area, but high quality fire essence. That seems important. Uh, somebody grab that. Probably another high quality essence over here. Oh, a ruby. Okay. Um, I'll take it. Good. High quality essence. More rubies. Oh shit. Wait, I gave that to the wrong person. Fuck, I'm trolling. It's fine. Where are you going? Don't slip on that ice, please. Thank you. Alright. It's slightly annoying that the characters don't automatically, like, try to avoid ice the like they do with caravan. other stuff. I remember one just like this picking me up. Could have been a shipment to Fort Joy. No, but what happens here? Can't be true. I don't like this music that's happening right now. Oh my god, everyone is dead and shit. Not the dead bull. Taking all this shit. Unidentified staff. Knockdown arrow, yes. Not 
but I don't want that. Fuck. No, Locked. No, no. Who does thievery? You do thievery, right? Do you have any lockpicks? Does anybody have any lockpicks? Do I have lockpicks? No, I do. No, Here, I give those to Beast, because Beast does stuff. No. Open sesame. No. I appreciate that. Wow, that's good. I think. I'm gonna send it to what's his name. And they'll tell me if it's really good. Light is dripping with salt. The dwarf flinches at your approach, yet she holds a short, clean blade aloft. Her fierce stance can't hide the trembling of her fingers. Light! Get back! I'll kill you, just like the rest of them. Shh, lass. I know you're all a fright. In times like these, I don't blame you. But I ain't out to hurt you. Why don't you take a few breaths and tell me what happened? She slumps, all bravado draining from her. No, no, no. I've never seen anything like those beasts before. Are, are they gone? They're void walking, you mean? Poor thing. No wonder you were scared. Well, I'd be scared too. Those, yes, were the ones I've ever seen. Whipped through the Magisters. The dwarves. Yeah, that fucking praying mantis looking dude. And the sorcerers. Sorcerers. Gone. Her eyes stare vacantly into the distance, glassy as marbles. It's not cold, yet her shivering is relentless. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Duna's beard. Loha. My papa Ooh, Loha. that's a name that we know about. But I, I can't remember. Loha, eh? Where will I find this boss of yours? Oh, well, you'll find him in Effie's Emporium, deep the Black Ball. He's a fine man. A little gruff, yes. But he's the only one in Driftwood wanting to help and not hurt. She looks up at Beast through tear-stained eyes. But you can see her resolve hardening as she remembers who she is and what she stands for. I... I... Oh, seven sympathy. I saw those things. Dragging the sorcerers along the cliffs towards the wreckers' caves. I, I, no, no more. It's gone. She flinches at the slightest rustle of wind through the long grass. Terror in her. I think eyes. you should not she be alone right her. now. Okay, well, see you tomorrow, I guess. Ah, uh, well, okay. <laughs> Huh, I don't think that is the best and brightest idea to be just, you know, going off on your own like that. But what do I know? What is that? Uh, sir? A scruffy kid bows okay. up and stands before you, hands on hips. He stares at your face, doubt screwing up his features. You been met. Just what he said you'd say, if I'm. Right up, got a message for you. Chap called Baron Lavery wants to see you. Black Bull Tavern, first floor. Yes, the characters are beginning to character. The kid shoves his hands in his pockets and ambles off, whistling an off key tune. That's kind of weird. He just randomly runs up to me and shit. Like, oi, don't I know you? Hey, people. Yeah. Yeah, get yourself in check, boy. I won't have you running off like Milsons and Tolly. You'll just end up sliding down some void woken's gross gullet piece by piece. The older looking magister notices your presence. He wipes his grubby hands downward across his greaves, as if to wipe away the grime, but instead smears more dirt onto them. Oh, what word do you bring? Have you seen signs of battle? Did you encounter our Magister brothers and sisters? <laughs> Nothing fishy at all, no sir! The younger one's face goes pale and his eyes widen. The other remains stiff, as if bracing himself against an unseen wind. The Void Woken come. Hush, Fader. You may pass, traveler. Dare say you'll be aching to leave before long anyway. But before you do, 
Find Raymond, the White Magister. He'll want to know what you've seen. Be quick, mine. He's set to sail any moment. He nods his head in the direction of the bridge, but offers no other instructions. There's another bridge that I passed a little bit ago that I kind of wanted to look at. And there's more stuff up here. Oh, the gallows up there. Uh, I kind of want to go up there first. A rat. I want to talk to the rat. I can't be seen ratonizing with the likes of you. A sorcerer? Second rat wizards by my book. That lizard there's a sorcerer, and look at her now. Strung up by her hands with a death rattle hanging round her lips. I'll have her eyeball when she's done with it. Won't be long now. Well, I'm a rat, and you're some kind of mm, curious large style flesh beast. Never the twain shall mix. Thus spaketh the reddish large style flesh beast. Yeah? Just look at what happened to that lovely slick tongued scale slitherer when she spent too much time with a lumbering large style flesh beast of her own. No thank you. I see. A Magister guard approaches. Behind her, on the gallows, two lizards. One in a Magister uniform hangs dead from her neck. The other hangs from her hands, still alive. Step away from the prisoner! She's hanging by her hands because the boss don't want her dead just yet. She's a tough one, Master Seaver. She's a seeker and she's a bloody traitor. She was part of the order. Knew Alexander personally. Alexander trusted her. At least as far as you can trust a lizard. To repay that trust, the Meister gave Alexander up to his enemies. Hmm? She wasn't there when Alexander fell, but White Magister Raymond uncovered the truth. She's as guilty as any of them. And I reckon she got off lightly. I'd have had her flayed alive with a salted bullwhip. I don't know why I just I see I I clicked that so that I could talk to her, but she's dead. <laughs> I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> That's internal order business. You do well to leave it alone. Let's just say Zeus and there was of help to sorcerers and leave it at that. The lizard hangs from a gibbet. Her face blooded and her scales discolored. Her eyes are closed, but her tongue flickers as you approach. Welcome to Driftwood, God Woken. One bloody eye cracks open, glittering gold appearing from beneath the swollen lid. Chased. <laughs> Chased you all the way here from Fort Joy, did they? Very well then, cut me down. There is work to be done. Do I know that? I think I know this person, but I don't exactly remember who they are. Or indeed you could stand there gawping as if you were a cow or a dancer reel. This is a masterful performance. I would applaud it, but well. Oh wait, isn't this the lady that I need to fucking be talking to? Actually, maybe. Yeah, it is. I'm fucking stupid. The Meister bears her teeth, stained a deep pink by her blood, and gr Malady is unfortunately mistaken. I cannot train you, but I can certainly help you on your path, as long as I am free of this rope. The lizard grimaces, shifting awkwardly as she dangles. I am in intense pain. You are either insufferably cruel or insufferably stupid. I assure you it's the latter. Be quick about it before the magister realizes their prize catch is about to slip through the net. Excellent. Now, if you'd be so kind as to gut that startled looking magister, it would be much appreciated. 
I must secure my home before they do any more damage. Yeah, from there. Is this guy too? Fuck. That's not good. Good. They don't get to play. Fuck you, man. Come on. Oh, she's silenced. She can't do anything. Well, she can cast, like, fucking minor shit. Here, hold up. I'll fucking do it again. I'll fucking do it again. Yeah, fuck you. I was gonna go up there. It's kind of weird. How did she get... Oh, yeah. Well, wait. Okay, that's kind of fucking weird, dude. Don't freeze me again, you bitch. Wow, I'm gonna die. Is what I would say. Stop fucking hitting my fucking teammates. That would be cool. Why do you get to go seven times? <laughs> Bitch. Where are you going? What What was that all about? I disagree. Oh, no opportunity attacks. I see. Am I dead? Sick. Wow, fun game. Man, it's crazy how none of that happens if I don't get fucking crippled at the beginning because you can do that from so far away. That's kind of stupid. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ, man. I'm gonna fucking have to reload the save because I just got unlucky. Which is really annoying, actually.
Fuck me, man. Fuck this shit, man. If I could, if I was able to fucking play, dude. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, that's not, no, you don't, we're not doing that, shut up. Fuck you, man. Good turn, dude. Are you not fucking dead? Well, now you are. Magic armor, man.
fuck, it doesn't hit both of them? Oh my god. Goes next, him. Okay. Toss that bitch. Ah, no more magic armor, you say? How unfortunate. Incredibly unfortunate. That really sucks, man. Fuck, man, we need better armor, dude. Holy shit. restoration in this party. Damn, really? No loot? That's crazy. You had me do that whole fucking fight for nothing? That's kind of weird. Alright, send that to him. I, I don't think anybody uses that shit. Mm, that's for me. I need to identify this. Uh, here, look at that. Let's take a look. That's just better. Oh, wow, that's just really better. Okay, plus two strength, plus one to warfare. Frozen, 10%. Crippled to 20%. Chilled, 10%. Uh, we're going to equip that real quick and then compare these two. Two strength, constitution, two-handed, hydro, chilled for one turn. 25% cleave damage. I think that's just better, actually. Yeah, we're gonna give him that one instead. That's a that is a really good item. Don't get me wrong, but I think uh, maybe the other one's just better. Okay, so that's been resolved. We gave him gloves too. Okay, I don't know why you still have these fucking rinky dink ass gloves, but there you go. Um, plus two intelligence, plus one telekinesis. I got a lot of stabs, don't I? Is she learning these? Okay. All right, nice. Let's, uh, let's, well, we could go a little bit farther down this. What, what the fuck is happening over here? 
I think this is a fight. Let's not go there yet. What is happening further down the road? You know what? Let's go into town first. That's probably a good idea. Because you know what? You know what? Uh, in town, we've got uh, fucking dudes. You guys are fucking creepy as shit, man. I don't like it. Uh, in town are stores. Uh, and when there's stores, there's uh, money to be made and gear to be upgraded and all that. As the Magister's eyes alight upon you, Hello? they widen until they are practically bulging out of their sockets. One tremulous finger rises from voluminous robes and points right at you. Oh from no. God damn it. handcuffs. I found Ben Mezda's our living brains. I don't know how you got free, but it'll be back to the joy with you and no mistake. One eye squints. The other bulges out even further, as if to compensate. Oh, it's you, all right. It's definitely you. Fuck, does he have any persuasion? I don't remember. Hmm. Your little tricks won't work on me, Ben Mezd. Do I want to fight? Who will I be aggroing in this fight? Did I save? Uh, I've done my best to not save scum in this game, but I think this may be a situation where we might have to actually do that. Because if I can't take this fight, I'm not going to take this fight, but I don't want to pay this lady. Oh, it's just one guy. Oh, it's more than one guy. Oh, it's... Why the fuck are these people upset? Oh my god, dude. Man, this is fucking bullshit, dude. Holy fuck. What? That's kind of annoying. There's just suddenly 70 people that have a problem with personal business. She considers your offer. Uh, how much? This is this is fucking pocket change. What? So Here. Much. You have to be hiding something, and I'm sure. Now, come on, back into a cage where you belong. Oh yeah, you think so? That's really dumb. That's so incredibly fucking stupid. Oh my god. Are you serious? This is... Huh. Wow, that's good. Nice, dude. Very cool. That's kind of fucking stupid. That we have to fight everyone in this fucking town or just go to jail. Yeah, dude, love that. The carved figure is a resplend. Your touch creates a ripple across the mosaic as if it were water and not stone. A comforting warmth spread. Not in any mood to talk about it. Do we even know where that is? No, we don't. Why is this area of the map just open? This is kind of fucking stupid. That's it. That's the whole thing, huh? Like, that's... We're just in jail, and now we just have to wait for... It's, it's incredibly fucking retarded. Alright, whatever, dude. He has all my shit, too. He has all the shit that I... He has all my money. He has everything. He literally has everything on him. That's... 
Why is that a thing? Why? Okay. I like I didn't want to do this in this game, but if if that's how this is gonna be, then I guess I'm just going to have to literally try every option, which is incredibly boring and stupid. But I mean, whatever game, if that's how you want to play. She considers your uh, how much? So little. You can sit and think about your stinginess at leisure. And oh, that's it. I don't care. I she's just going to be murdered, I guess. I guess that's the whole thing, huh? Yeah, I don't even know where you're coming from or who you are, but See. I'm not entirely sure why you thought that was the course of action you should take, but I mean, you got it, I guess. Okay, that's good. Whose turn is it? Alright, listen. I appreciate your gusto, but I'm going to need you to be literally anywhere else. Why'd you go over there, huh? These guys are fucking ass. Wait, what? Why am I even worried? Holy shit. I shouldn't be. Here, play with him. Oh, he didn't get the fire. That's kind of weird. Okay. Whatever, I guess. Why didn't he get the... Please don't fuck. Please just run. I don't want to have to kill regular people. Damn, I'm just gonna have to kill regular people, huh? That's kind of weird. Okay, the game is just forcing me to fucking kill everyone in town. That's crazy. I like what is this shit, dude? I'm fucking over it, dude. Holy shit. I'm so fucking over it, man. So unbelievably fucking stupid. Last time I was here, I summoned my wolf right in the tavern. All hell broke loose. Good times. Good times. I'm just staying there, motherfucker. Is she just not here now? Like, I don't understand what. I think that lunatic Siva is loose again. Man. 
How much am I carrying? Hundred and fifty pounds. Jesus Christ, this man just be carrying I'm shit. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among I have too much to carry. What the fuck? What did I pick up? Oh, this. Yeah, that was a mistake. Oh, I just barely have too much to carry. I should sell all the shit that I don't need from my inventory first. Actually. Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Together, Bree. I'm all right as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Two dozen noblemen. Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right as long as I don't. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. The big tool. I think I keep the rest of the stuff. Oh yeah, this shit too. For the junk you sell, then. Junk? Why, I offer nothing less than the wisdom of the ancients. And vapid fiction, along with the knowledge helped in repairing it. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Well, don't come over. It's not like you're buying anything. Well met, friend. Interested in Driftwood's finest <sighs> No, I'm not. You don't fucking... You don't have anything. You look down at the cart. Suit yourself. It's this guy over here that I want to talk to. Wars are brewing, my friend, and I'll... Special prices for you, my... War is hell, my friend. Mm -hmm, I'm sure. Very good for business. Good luck to yeah, you. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. I thought I didn't have that one. Okay. It's a lot of money. I actually... Fuck, I don't have that much money. I do, but... Like, that's a lot. I hope I don't have to fucking... Upcharge myself. In theory, the game is... Not still broken. But... You never know. Honestly. Okay. Dozen rotten eggs dropped in a bath. Don't come over. I like your 
Okay. Auto sort. Actually need that. Just sending all of this to myself so I can sell it. Because he's not allowed in town for whatever reason. How you hold up? Not in any mood to talk about it. Not in subordination. Am I carrying? 97. 97 pounds? Where did I get 97 pounds of shit from? How much is that? Still 97. It should be 99 or 100. It's 100. Alright, sick. You have more money. Buying or selling? You do. You have all of my money, actually. Here, take all this shit that's incredibly useful that you need. Trust me, you need all of this, okay? You need teeth. And sharp teeth. And this rope. Yeah, all that. And give me some money. Actually, I might need more skills for these guys. Phoenix dive probably definitely required. He's got a bunch of armor and shit that I might want as well. So we're going to continue to sell things to him. I don't think I can move because I have that painting. Oh, doesn't matter. He's right here. Uh, take all that shit. Um, here, take this as well. Um, you can also have 17 sheets of paper. Actually, I think I need these. I'm going to keep them. You can have both of those. Hopefully, I don't need them. You can have these two things. I don't even know who the fuck that is. This is just... $500? Do I still need this? I'm gonna keep it anyway. Uh, it's $500. Okay, what do I need? I think armor is needed, huh? I think money is probably more needed, huh?
is that everything he has? Okay, good. Now I need to sell everything that she has. Assuming that I don't have anything that's better. And I don't think I do. I'm gonna keep that just in case I need it ever. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. A vat of vinegar. Come over. It's not like you're buying anything. They don't come visit your town. Who will? Wouldn't you like to know? I can sell this one. That's the only one I don't plan on giving her polymorph. She needs to be reading all these books or selling them. You're not gonna be a geomancer. Necromancer? Maybe. I'll have her keep those. All right, one more time. Wait, what's up? Wrong person. They don't come visit your town. Who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Okay, let's learn some skills. Send those to Efan, because I think that's the only person that's going to be using those too. Auto sort my inventory and manage my known skills. I think I need to invest in some memory soon, but we'll do that later. Yeah, I think we're going to be needing to invest into a memory next go around. Man. I think it's really stupid that I have to... F God, it's so fucking stupid. I can't even be in the town with my full party because this fucking dude is uh I'm all right. wanted or some shit. This man is very loud. I would like to find out where this fuck- oh wait, you know what? My problem's been solved. He's no longer in fucking- he no longer has all my shit. So, he can fucking go to jail now. We'll just break him out. Just 
dark. Damn, but like, what if we just avoid her the whole time? <laughs> She's definitely trying to follow the fuck out of us. That's crazy. Hey, fuck you, bitch. I'm going. Alright, I think I have business in here somewhere. I do. Even the contact by the name of Baron. Did you say the basement of the thing, or just? Go up. This tavern does have a couple of levels. Curiosity kills the cat. It'll get its sense of Fort Joy. Right, right, of course. Let's try down. Hey, oh, if it ain't the beast man, I can't believe you found driftwood. How do you spill the ale over all that rotten fish? Get it? The unfamiliar dwarf scratches his head nervously, then chuckles again. He doesn't seem sure what to say. That's anymore. kind of awkward. Hey, 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 shh, keep it low. I don't need magisters crawling up my backside after I just emptied it out. I'll be quiet as a mouse. You bet. Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> now go on down. Effie's Emporium's your back for sure. What do I need in Effie's Emporium? What? Oh, shit. Oh, we have to find Lohar. Let's find Lohar first. Actually, I want to talk to you. You want an engraved invitation every time? You know the way. Yeah, scoundrel stuff. And, uh, this. Which is what I want. <laughs> it's very expensive, though. I do have the money. This time around, but I still also need to outfit like literally the rest of my squad. I would buy any of this stuff, but like, I uh, I don't have enough memory to even use it, so. I definitely could use this. 
Tuna finesse, water resistance, plus to range, sneaking, and thievery, and movement, and more HP, and reflecting damage. That's really good. It's just really fucking expensive. And I don't know if I really want to spend all that money when the rest of my guys kind of need to get outfitted. Especially her. She's kind of... She's kind of... Soft. Squishy. That's what I meant to say. Uh, let's see. What do you have on you? She's very protective against magic damage, but she's squishy as fuck in the physical department. He's like the opposite, actually. He has. Well, he's got. This little shit. Beast is just fucking armored out of his goddamn mind. I feel like I need to be earning a little bit more money. On our way to leveling up yet again. What's in this barrel? Barrel. I wonder if anybody in the party has a lucky charm. Oh yeah, there's something oh, right six. here, isn't there? I found something. I did find something. Oh, I just didn't pick it up last time. Man, I'm fucking stupid. You know? All right, we're blind from here on out. I have no idea what's about to happen, so let's uh, let's uh, Look let's involve that. ourselves. A fresh face and a pretty little kisser it is too. Aha! Uh -huh. Right. I want to change my formate. What the fuck is this formation? I see. That is, I think, why we're getting fucked so often. It's because of that. Can be governor. Take a load off and enjoy Effie's plunder down under. All right, I'm going to put this in at your mission. Go get food because I'm incredibly hungry. I bet you didn't know I could do that in a recording. So I'll be back. Thank you. 
It's me being back and shit. seems to be over here. Oh, that doesn't look good, huh? What do you want? Boss is busy. 
beast strokes his beard for a few seconds, buries his hand inside it, then whips it out again to display his extended middle finger. He marches past, finger still raised, to the chagrin of the gawking guard. That's how you pronounce that word. I've read that word so many times as chagrin. Hmm. The guard shrugs back. Bus could take care of himself. I'd like to see your friend try that with him. Maybe I ought to take a finger. Ifan approaches him, a drink in his hand, and a wide smile on his face. He clearly feels at home in this grimy place. Want a drink? Uh, we're about to get involved in something. So, I'm not sure if that's the best idea, but sure. I'm down. Wait. Does Flint drink? <laughs> hmm. Not by choice. I'll say. Well, actually, that's wrong. He does drink. All right. He grins and hands you a drink, full of good cheer. It's really been some adventure so far, eh? <laughs> one must stop to appreciate the good moments, right? And if this isn't a good one, I don't know what is. If Anne looks around at the undertow, contentment plain in his eye. Ah, well. Plenty of drinks to be had when the world's saved. Ifan's eyebrows raise, and his cheeks color beneath his beard. I'd, I'd say the same about you. I'm never lonely when you're around. Relax a little bit. Ifan smiles shyly and nods. Let's, uh, let's keep moving. I'm a married man, all right? Relax. I brought you up from girl to woman, Marla. Like you was my own. This. He lifts his right arm, showing a white bandage beneath his ribs. A wet red spot shows through. This ain't the thanks I expected. Who sent you? <laughs> okay. The formidable dwarf slams his fist on the side table. You hear a loud crack. Enough! Do you know they killed Anna? Do ya? Start talking sense or I'll take that tongue right out of your mouth and fry it for supper. I'm definitely eating right now, by the way. So. Beast growls under his breath and slowly reaches for his weapon. Hmm. You know what, man? Handle your business, bro. I'm behind you. 100%. Beast thrusts his weapon at his fellow dwarf. He oh. looks first to you, then to Beast. He's surprisingly unfazed by the obvious threat. Bart! Kate! Get her to talk or bleed her out. She ain't one of mine anymore. His sneer travels from the restrained dwarf to you. And you. You're a brave lad waltzing in here now. I know who you are, you know. <coughs> beast of the sea. What brings you to this good for nothing? <coughs> Operation Downfall, you numbskull. And you'll tell me what you know, or I'll turn your guts inside out and stuff them down your throat. Disgusting. Well, before you go blood crazed, you should know the Queen's no friend of mine. Not no more. He hawks a wad of spit on the floor, then motions to the room around him. I'm a businessman. I can't say I always keep things on the up and up, but I don't think a rogue pirate's got a lot of room to judge a man for his various trade concerns. And what Justinia's cooking up ain't so good for my bottom line. A 
I don't want to help Justin. I want to stop her. Beast considers Lohar's words for a moment, then sheaths his weapon and motions to Lohar to keep talking. I thought you'd see things my way. Come, make yourself comfortable. We'll have a chat when you're ready. Hmm. Come, citizen. What did you think was gonna happen? Wait. Not much of a landlubber, but some things I have no choice in the matter. Besides, I've got business to take care of. I always figured every dwarf is pure at heart when they pop out of their mamas. They ain't born cruel. That means we can be made uncruel. Not sure Lohar will ever be an upstanding member of his community. But he knows where to draw the lines. Alright, let's learn more from this Lohar fella. Brave lad. All sitting in here. I hope for your sake you've got good news for me. Are you selling anything? Not really. <clears throat> you came into my ass, pub, not the other way around. He winces loudly and holds a hand to the bandage on his side. The large red spot in its center has grown larger and wetter. The best of the best. <laughs> Thought of myself. Under the third ribbon out again, just like that. Lucky for me, she caught an old wound. Scar slowed down the knife. Mm. So, how'd you make it out of Fort Joy? I've got people. They've got people. People talk. The magisters never shut up long enough to listen. But me, I love a good story. Here's one I heard lately. A group of strangers landed on the beaches outside town. Nice to see this people. Hmm. One of her little seekers, chasing down Godwoken and begging them to save us all. <coughs> all just telling us all kinds of this and that about Godwoken. I haven't seen any evidence of him myself. So no. Well, feast your eyes! It's me. We're swirling the drain. The evidence. If someone doesn't plug it, we'll slip down easy as you please. So, what do you want? And I do. Knowing Siva, she sent you looking for sorcerers, I bet. Not really, actually. I don't think she did. And it just so happens I can help you. Depending on what you can do for me. <clears throat> he gestures towards the bandage across his side. Had a bit of family trouble lately. My girl Marla got it in her head to come after me with the short blade. Hmm. I ain't like Marla. I ain't like her to pull the silent treatment either. Something's going on. And wouldn't you know that blade she used wasn't any normal bit of steel. Belonged to another of my people. The guy's name is Mordus. Bit of a loner, but smart as hell. I sent a few guys to go check on him. See if he knew what had got into Marla, but no one can find him. I'd like a word with the guy. <clears throat> That'd be up to him, wouldn't it? No I guess seen so. him in a good few. I've got some people checking out his house near the tavern now, though. Tell them I sent you, and they'll let you know what they've found. Truth is, they might be glad to see you. Reckon a sorcerer will have better luck finding one of their own. Well, like I said, Maldus is a special guy. A sorcerer, matter of fact. Maybe even one of the ones Seaver's after. If there's something you want to find out from him, you might want to ask before I have my word with him. Here, right. you can take this off my hands. Hmm. More
more suited to your kind, really. Good luck. I don't have any uh rogues in the party. <laughs> Let's go into you. Got nothing to be scared of. Yep, that's me. Cut off the master's head and burn this. Gotta make sure it don't grow back. Aha, I see. Fine. You will be added to the list. Yeah, and you're sitting inside of the table, so I think you have bigger problems uh, at the moment, sir. He clears his throat and gargles on his own saliva. He then returns to his pub, but his voice cracks mid-verse. Man, stuck in the middle of the table talking well, about, you you've interrupted my masterpiece, you fool. Wait, you might be just the stimulus I needed. I shall craft a rhyme for you and your okay. race. All I ask in return is a handful of coins. It's an offer of a lifetime. Fame, notoriety, neither or both. The thing about a good poem is that it wiggles into the ear. People think it's just a catchy rhyme, but it changes minds and hearts for good and for ill. So, you write this poem, right? How do you react when you figure out that I, me, am a sorcerer, that which you despise so much? You see? You see? What happens? But if I am to write a first it's only 20 word, gold, I'm down. You must face some difficult questions. Are you prepared to answer? Yeah. He stares at you for a few torturing moments. Your eyes betray the guilt of the human race. You believe it's your right to ravage Rivalon. What say you? Um, it's kind of weird, dude. I don't necessarily agree. He smiles a crooked smile and runs a hand through his greasy hair. Ah, not the grease. That most peculiar of human traits, given your lack of cultural accomplishment, save the towers you erect in worship of greed. What riches do you seek? Um, hmm. That's a good question. Fellowship is a good, is the, there's only two choices here. I don't know why I'm making it such a big deal, but that's Indeed. the closest. You seem almost fearless in your conviction, but I know better. Stripped of their swords and shields, Humans are as fragile as flower petals. Admit your cowardice. I mean, I'm built different, so. <clears throat> the bard hems and haws, then bellows his next words to anyone who might hear. To all lovers of verse, I bring glorious news. I'm built different, bro. I, I don't know about you. Another modern 
You shit talk me, I swear to God, I'll shoot you in the face. I'll do it right now. This world of war and cruelty they created. They shall not stop till all the worlds are waste. And signs of all other cultures erased. That's how you feel? Silver, gold, and diamonds now dispose. With friends and lovers, find your true repose. So journey forth. And tread the proper trail And shout to all The humans must prevail I don't know if I like that first part You must be delighted by my newest ode oh, Soon bards throughout Rivalon will sing it Fame, notoriety, neither Or why not? Shall I even give you a discount? Your loss, I suppose <coughs> Interesting. What's up? A criminal and in a starched apron wipes a glass with a clean rag. She pins you with blue, steel sharp eyes as you approach the bar. Blessings upon our Lucian, seven times divine. With surprising agility for a woman of her age, she reaches over the bar and swings a hand toward your face. You brace yourself for the incoming blow, but she instead points her finger into your face. We don't speak of his holiness that way in this establishment. Bad dude. Ah. Ha! Go on. I'd prefer it if you did. The magistrates here are like my children. Why, my boy Niles is the house physician in Fort Joy itself. She looks at you from stern to bow and frowns, deep lines etching into her face. I suppose so. We've only got amber ale, I'm afraid it can't stir the potatoes for hard alcohol. If you'd like something that'll stick to your ribs, I'd flag down Loverick and get yourself a bowl of the house stew. Sure. Nice. This guy over here talking about. Ah, oh, finally. Your colleague over there is absolutely useless. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll have a bowl of the house stew, if you please. Oh, pity. I've been trying to get a little something to eat all day. But the giggle heads who run this establishment don't seem to be willing to provide a fellow with his fair portion. After all I've been through, too. Maybe you should walk over and order you know, something. Then looks up at you expectantly. His lip trembles dramatically. I'm gonna slap you if you tell me some corny it's shit. My mentor, my dear mentor, he was killed by those void beasts. I told him we ought not to travel in the hills, but would he listen? No. Now here I sit, my closest companion gone. Our precious cargo worth more than Lucian's right ring, lost to the beast infested wild. And the waiter won't even bring me any stew. Oh, then perhaps my luck has changed. Yeah, tell me, how are you in, well, void woken? Ah, oh, terrific news. Then might I ask to be a little more than a trifle? My mentor. And I were falling in a goodly number of fine wares from the Southlands when we crossed paths with a great brute of a void woke. It made short work of Liam, may the gods rest his soul. I managed to escape, but my precious cargo was left behind. We invested our cargo. entire livelihood in those wares. I'd do anything to get them back. He must have been sent from on high. And don't worry, I'll make it very worth your while. Now, give me your map. I'll show you just where to look. I doubt those beasts out there have any use of such a cargo. I can't tell you how thoroughly. You... Uh, what you want about and shit? She nods an uninterested greeting. 
Here for the fight. This is a tavern. People are drinking. Eventually there'll be a fight. You planning on starting one? Pity. Damn. All right, shit. Okay. Go ahead. I like what? Do I do I care? I don't. I do not, I promise you. I believe this is the house I'm supposed to be getting. The Meister sits slumped in a chair, oh, hey. looking around the room as she works her, oh, no, this is her with house. one hand. It looks like it was dislocated by the gallows. Damnable red cloak baboons ransacking my wardrobes. As if I would keep ancient valuable secrets in a pearl with my unmentionables. She takes a deep breath, and with a twist, a click, and a screech of pain, she shoves her shoulder back into its socket. <laughs> I swear by the seven if if we did not have more important matters to attend to. Reaching across the table, she pulls a bowl of hot water towards her and fishes some bandages, a needle, and thread out of a box. She slowly starts to tend to her wounds. At least the barbarians were unable to club their way into my vault, so everything in reach should be safe. In your case, more than I suspect, ma'am, God or even reptiles can provide. However, may my such are. It is not enough to be God woken in order to ascend to divinity. There is a process. As she speaks, the Meister uncorks a vial of shimmering liquid, sauce. She lets a couple of drops fall on her hand, but instead of infusing with her body, they quickly evaporate on her scale. She stares at the empty spot on her palm for a long moment before turning back to you, continuing as if nothing had happened. What's up a with that? process by which God woken may ascend. It begins with discovering your deepest self, delving into your own soul. We shall begin once we have <laughs> the tools we need from my vault. You may have been chosen God woken, but becoming divine requires more than a supernatural pattern aid. Come, God woken. It is time to see just how awake you are. Fortunately, the master is still watching to see you are in fashion. Isn't there another house that I'm sort of, it's, wait, no, it's not that house. It's this house? Um, hold that thought for a second. I will be back. fuck you're doing just staring at the wall it's kind of weird but whatever Is unnaturally still. You might mistake her for a corpse were it not for a slight twitch of her eyelids. She calmly opens her left eye, then her right. What do you want? The dwarf unfolds her arms and shoots to her feet. All right, human. I'm quite glad Lohar ain't left us here to wither. Those brutes are taking their sweet time down there. I gotta send word soon. Who knows? Anything that gives away what Mordus has been up to. Probably got all sorts of tricks for covering his tracks, but the goons downstairs should sniff out something. Get to it then. But tell the lunkheads that Glenna sent you before they bash your brains in.
The male dwarf expels two lungfuls of air and glances happily at his companion. We've only been fretting here for a few hours, but it's felt like days. That snop-nosed priest's as slippery as a snake in an oil drum. Ain't found nothing that lets on what Morris is up to. Only thing we managed were to close that door and get us stuck. And if there's another door out there, never could find it. No more ain't gonna be pleased. Ain't no telling where that priest has gone to. Started acting all funny not so long ago, then flew the coop. Well, at first. He was just buddying around with Lohar and the rest, you know. But then he'd start looking all sickly and run off for a day or two. Again, I could have sworn that was pronounced macabre, but <laughs> a skull that's missing an eye, huh? If I were to take a wild guess, I would say if I found this eye, I would be able to do something with that skull. see okay it does make sense there's definitely a way out though 100 percent the fuck did you guys just not move these boxes like is that, is that what I'm looking at Morris, you're lucky man. Your failure to assassinate Lohar could have been ruinous, yet our lord proves his grace by not only sparing you, but granting you Mord Akim. Akim. Which requires an excessive release of source, but I'm sure you're anxious to be released and your orders made the same. See that the weapons from the Peacemaker reach are unharmed. I read their arrival and to be careful since they pass through. Make sure they pass no further. Want to know of this. Sure he will. I want to know why the fuck the skeleton is missing an eye. Well, this won't do. If I can get stuck, then I can get unstuck. Is that how that works? I don't know if that's exactly how that works. Something to do with this shit, probably. Where, where are you going? The shrine depicts Duna, yet is clearly seeing better days. The stone is cold against your palm. If you scrape your knee on the wooden floor. Interesting. Oops. Why do 
wasn't finished talking to you guys. Okay. Well. The shrine depicts do you scrape your knee on the wooden floor. The stone is cold again. Uh, I have not memorized bless. Choose a memorized bless. This shrine to Duna may have been quite beautiful before it was so horrible. Nothing happens. What? This shrine to Duna, the stone is cold against your palm. If this figure once... Okay. Anything else here? I don't like this though. A skull. It's missing an eye. As far as looks go, this one's pretty much carved. Yeah. I wonder if one of them had picked up the eye and still has it. Ain't no rest for any dwarf in it might be up here somewhere, I think. It is locked. Unlock that shit. That's just better. 19. Probably not. Yeah. It do just be better though. Ooh, and lifesteal? I'm taking it. I'm taking it all. It do be better though. And it doesn't have a movement penalty, so that's good. Talk to Lohar. No rest. No rest until the kill is found. Yes, you're good with the magic of caging anyone up. I have to talk to the. I still have to talk to the lizard. I haven't done that yet. Better get out there before Mortis makes it all the way past Dax. I asked you for a man, not a note. He takes the letter from your hands and reads it quickly. Face hardening with anger as he reaches the end. The goddamn spit sucking weasel! Mm. This is bad. Not just for me and mine. Not just for you and yours. This is bad. For everyone. Hell if I know, but it don't sound good. Seems as though Mordus wasn't mine after all. Trouble is, I don't know whose he is. Of course. That's why I haven't heard from the cave. Sabotage. Listen up, I need your help. We all do. Mordus has his hands on something dangerous. Something I was trying to protect us from. Not just my folks. The whole damn realm. Look, me and mine, we move classified cargo. Take it right off Magister ships and put it into the hands of those that will use it rightly. Trouble is, we came across something no one ought to have. Not the Magisters, not my folks, not the gods themselves. I ordered it to be destroyed. I guess Mordus, 
whoever he's working for wants it for themselves. That can't happen. Easy enough to say, isn't it? In it. Between the void Vulcan and the order, we've got ourselves one hell of an orgy to unscrew. Bound to be a mess, isn't there? My people had an operation up in the caves outside town. Good access to red ships and plenty of privacy too. I haven't heard from them in a couple of days now. I thought maybe we'd lost the messengers to Void Woken in the hills, but now I think it's worse than I thought. I bet my lucky left foot Mordis is in the cave. You've got to get to him. You mentioned he sabotage, so I guess car. those guys were kind of weird and shit. Pray to whoever you they pray probably to have. Finally, someone will give me a map. I'll show you where we were operating. I think where they or he has be. the other gem I that I need. Know what'll happen if he gets what he's after. So let's go see if we can get that. I should probably see if I can find the contact that dude is looking for as well. I doubt that they would be in here. I want this uh, fast travel spot though. Wait, right, maybe they are in here. Who the fuck is this? Down for a little scuffling and tussling. Let's see if you got some fight in you. Not right now. I'm definitely planning on doing that shit soon, though. Taking a shot in the dark and saying that the dude I'm looking for is not here. Might be upstairs. Or like upstairs, upstairs. Curiosity kills the cat. We'll get the scent before he goes. That's a lot. You got that right, Hilka. Then you're you got that right. And I'm saying you can trust me. I can see a sorcerer from a mile away. And you can't be too careful, you know? Baron, if I can get Alexander, let me get any of us. You're right about that. Right as rain, he'll go. Oh, wait. This is the guy I'm looking for. Seems less as you approach the Silken Road Knoll, Ifan does a double take and laughs in recognition. He pulls you to one side. I know this man, and he's not at all what he seems. A moment. Ifan bounds forward and embraces the man, all effusive greetings. As they part, talking animatedly, the man's beard slips sideways down his face. He's wearing a disguise. Ifan laughs as he straightens the beard. They chatter away for some time, using a guttural cant you struggle to understand. Yes, thieves cant, point, my favorite. The man says something and looks over at you intently. Ifan waves his hand and laughs. The man hunkers down and seems to be sketching a rough map on the floor, using an apple, some playing cards, and a fistful of threads pulled out from the carpet. Ifan claps the man on the back and turns to leave. Well, now we know the way to the sawmill. And we know Roos thinks I'm bringing you there as part of the Godwoken contract. Hmm. I see. It's, uh, it's probably not good. Okay. 
Damn, there's probably hella shit in these fucking chests, bro. Okay. We've got a couple places to go. I think we should go visit the wizard lady again. through nothing to worry about here it really is quite simple in the corner there's a painting remove it and push the button behind it then we may move on to the vault. The combination to the vault is 15R, 34L, 23R, 35R, 9R, 16L, 33L, 45R, 51L, 1L. Try Hope I don't actually have to remember that. That would fucking suck. In the corner there's a painting. Move the painting and press the button. Is it this painting? Go to the painting and move it. Okay, not that painting. It's this painting. Oh, I see. Push the button now. Kindly go to the vault and enter the combination. I shall call it out as you go. A stone door lies flush with the floorboards. Etched whirls in the granite frame a delicate rotary dial. Gleaming under the dim light, the metallic dial almost seems to wink at you. Taking your time, you carefully enter the combination. The metallic sounds of the tumblers falling within the mechanism let you know you entered the code correctly. Excellent. Follow me. Your time is at hand, Godwoken. Be repossessing shit, you know how it is. Wait. Come speak to me when you wish to proceed. Ain't you rude? And try Man, not to break anything in the meantime. This place is an arcanist dream. Right, everybody, come grab some. Of a landlubber, but some things. The Meister is examining her wounds, prodding at this, wincing at that. Her face seems grim as she turns to you. <sighs> Do you know what it means to have the power of the divine, Godwood? to see was stare bores into your soul it is still analytical and ice cold indeed some people seem to think so mostly they're idiots but in some cases they're mad dogs the meister rests her hand on her arm where one of her wounds has just reopened she squeezes hard ignoring the trickle of blood running down her claw i pray you're more idiot than mad dog yeah. It'd be a shame to expend all this effort just to see you put down. I hope so, for all our sakes. To accept divinity is to accept responsibility for the lives of every person and beast that walks Rivenon. Mm. If granted divinity, you would have the power of all seven gods at your disposal. You could heal any wound, 
pull islands from the sea, right any injustice. But make no mistake, the Divine has only one duty, to protect this world from the Void. The Divine cannot use his power for anything else. When you become the Divine, there is no more self. For just a moment, her eyes soften as she looks at you. It is no small thing to ask, but it is your duty. Without a new Divine, Rivalon will die. Very well, then. Let's see if we can't snatch Divinity from the jaws of the Void. The ritual itself is quite simple. Drop some black root in the bowl, mix in a little blood, set the concoction aflame, and then inhale the smoke. Yes, sir. Ignore any feelings of dizziness, burning in your lungs, or a dire sense of existential dread. They're all perfectly normal. Although you will need to sacrifice a little sauce along the way. Mm -hmm. Everything you need is here. Ingredients in the cupboard. Sauce in the glowing fountain. Ritual in the tome by the bookcase. Even an incinerator to provide a flame. The Meister looks back at her wounds, curiously prodding them as fresh blood oozes out, staining her claws. Quite. Mind you, being torn asunder by a void woken would be even more inconvenient. So if you wouldn't mind... The Meister points sharply to the ingredients cupboard. And do not lose anything. These ingredients are rare indeed. I'm not hiking back out to the cloister room to fetch you more black fruit. Opening the door, you see a selection of ingredients thrown together in no particular order. After a quick rummage, you spot the black root nestled between the grated dragon's tongue and trudenay oil. You gather up the black root, obsidian lance, and ancient bowl, and kick the door of the cupboard closed. What else do I need? Shit. Source fountain book is in the bookshelf. Fucking, I'm taking it all. I'm taking all your books. Okay, that's well, none of that was what I wanted it to be. So I'm kind of. Oh, it's in this bookshelf. Wait, that's not in this bookshelf. I'll take it anyway. What is this? Fuck, I'm taking all your shit. Oh, here it is. Place a single piece of black root in the bowl. Draw blood with the lancer. Sprinkle it on the root, set a flame to the bowl, ensure you have sufficient source, inhale the smoke. Beyond this point, nothing is known. The ingredients are not rare, but may be difficult to procure. I am fortunate that my source found that runs less than sufficient source. Black root's another matter. Root produces no poison, starts to ground, but all manner is weight. It produces no poison or thorns to guard it, but all manner of creatures block those treatments. Why is quickly grab what one needs another time? Pray that my experience here paved with future scholars or should I succeed to allow wait to allow any of the evils of the god within? Never. You can never be like me. I'm built different. And shit. Okay. What was it? Uh, put the black root in the bowl, stab myself, and then set it on fire. Sick. Okay.
All right, stand back. Move, you stupid fucking squirrel. Thank you. As you suck the smoke deep into your lungs, your vision starts to swim and cloud. There is an intense pounding in your head, and you can feel the world fading. As the world fades away, you lose all sense of being grounded. You reach up, but you could feel yourself falling slowly, sinking into the depths of your own soul. Ah, it's me again. I am in here once again. The hexagon hexagons, I see, yes. This what my soul looks like. I like how they can just follow me literally anywhere. Like, what the hell is up with this man? What's happening here? Is there anything back there? I will go investigate. I cannot investigate. Unlucky. Unfortunate, isn't it? Oh yes, of course. It's me. Standing on thin air and shit. Oh hey! Wait, that's me! What the fuck? You're not allowed to do that. Bathed in the half-light of these starless bands, you spot a figure you could only describe as a second self. It looks haggard and weak, its very voice but a feeble echo of your own. My chosen, come, come closer, so that you may see me, as I tr You will see when you look me in the eyes. The apparition clasps your face in its shaking hands. You suddenly feel your eyes tingle. Everything becomes brighter, sharper. Blacks and whites become glorious bursts of color, then fade back into their accustomed spectrum. Blind eyes! Shine brightly! Speak the spell and sing. Not as the strange mirror image of yourself. Before you stands the god Rami in all his spectral glory. You know me now, don't you? I saved you from drowning. I blessed you, made you powerful. And now I've come to seek some power in return. Your God-woken soul is my last refuge, my last bastion. May as well make the best of what you have to offer. Ranit nourishes himself from the source that abounds in your presence. You feel it deep down inside yourself. Ah. Ah, yes. Just what I needed. I tell you, dying just doesn't become a god. The void itself is hunting down the gods, leeching us in ways we never thought possible. Droplet by droplet, we are being drained. We're battling for our very survival. It's a battle we're losing. And should we truly lose, all will be cast into oblivion. By all means, let that be a motivator, not a cause for concern. Uh -huh. We must realize that our fates are now as one, just as our souls are now as one. We are I. Together we are a force to be reckoned with. But if we seek to survive the onslaught of the void, we stand no chance unless we become vastly more powerful than we are now. That means there is but one place we can go. The well of ascension. It is a lake, a pool of pure source in which the powers of the seven lie united. We gave them up freely to create the first divine. Each of us donated half of that which makes us gods. To bathe in the lake is to become our chosen. That is where the road to divinity leads, and you must be the first to reach it at all costs.
There you touch upon the very heart of the matter. The void is stronger than ever. A new divine won't be enough. You need to go to the Well of Ascension, not to bathe in the source of the Seven, but to take it. All of it. Only he who claims everything will be everything. The Void's doom. This world's liberator. It's very simple, really. They will either bow to you or be undone. But of course, that is what they are saying to their own God, Woken, as we speak. We both know they won't bow, just like we both know you will never bow to them. Only one can become a God strong enough to safeguard our world. One, at the expense of all others. Mm. So make no mistake, my champion. Chances are the road to divinity will be paved with dead gods. Their blood on your murderous hands. That's comfortable. That's a great thought. I love that. that Thank you. <laughs> these sins will be washed clean by the knowledge oh given my to them God. to save all of existence. For the greater good, huh? And your loved ones. And the world they live in. They will be at your mercy, which is vastly preferable. So fret not, but revel in the promise of the lake. I will lead you there when you're ready, when you've become a true master of the source and speak the language of creation itself. Our journey will be fraught with peril. It is a pilgrimage oh, of challenges that will require you to command source like only a god woken can and wield its most powerful spell. Coarse laughter rolls and echoes into infinity. You have so much to learn. So much higher to climb. So much farther to grow. We are I now. The spells you need to know I will teach you when you are ready. I don't but like this. You must learn to channel he keeps saying that. In greater volumes. that <laughs> but I want to be me. You know what I'm saying? Of the source. You I don't must like it. Teach you so that you may become a master in turn. So, return to Rivalon and seek out these sages where they dwell. Convince them to share with you their deep-seated bond with the Source. Once you have, you may return to me here. Something that will make you understand that for a god, there is precious little difference between the living and the dead. Source is. It is a constant, a subject of neither time nor transience. All of life is Source. And in source, it is immortally so. You have the vision of a god now. Eyes that can see spirits, the souls of the dead made manifest in source. Speak the spell during your peregrination, and you will see them. Where the dead lie, the dead linger. Best of luck, my champion. I see. I see, I see, I see. The Meister stares intently at you. Her eyes are tired and bruised, but determined. Still alive? Gods above, there might be something to you after all. She leans in, her bloody tongue flickering hungrily about your face. Tell me, what did you see? What do you know? Hmm. She sighs impatiently as you hack up the last of the green smoke. You can't channel the lost source. Gods be damned, why couldn't you have a nice simple problem? Finding an orc to dance the hornpipe, perhaps. <sighs> if I were looking for a master of mirth, you would be ideal. Alas, 
There are no masters of source here. The river of my source has been dammed. My link to the font from which it flows, severed. How so? So we must seek alternatives. What? Alas, the now I have more questions. Also, who the fuck is this just being dead over here? Are those too dangerous or cunning for the magisters to contain? Sorcerers that allowed their power to corrupt them. Many are wicked, cruel, vile, and generally not good teacher material, but we may have no others to turn to. Your poor taste in drinking partners does not interest me. These are no average cutthroats. They are the kind of creatures that grew bored of pulling the legs off spiders and so moved on to people. However, it is the path we walk. No, <coughs> no matter what the cost. No matter <sighs> what is asked of you. The Meister doubles over in a violent coughing fit, struggling for breath. After She's gonna moment, die. She regains her composure, wiping a thin smear of blood from the corner. I hope of she mouth. doesn't. No matter what is asked of you, you must learn from me. And you do not seem to be paying attention. Sorcerers, evil, controlling your soul, saving Rivalon, please. <laughs> please tell me at least some of this rings a bell. Your focus, your only focus, must be on finding these masters. On finding the secrets to divinity. Nothing else matters. Alas, I am. And we do not have time to nitpick morals. The Magisters have kept ledgers with all known sorcerers, especially the powerful ones not yet captured. They would be an invaluable resource. But do be careful not to get caught. I was their <coughs> guest for a time. And I promise you the gallows was the most comfortable part of the experience. And if their barracks turns out to be as empty as their skulls, just try to keep an ear to the ground. There may still be powerful sorcerers hiding in these lands. As she speaks, one of her wounds reopens, a dark red stain spreading across her tunic. She hisses in frustration and starts to bind the gash. I wish there was more I could do, but in this condition, I would be more a hindrance than a boon. Godspeed, and remember, do whatever it takes. The spirit of an elegant elven woman materializes before you. She seems surprised. You... you can see me. A god woken in my presence. You honor me. I am the Meister's apprentice. I study under her, but I do not learn. I hear tales of the ritual, of what lies beyond. Such wonders. Such powers. I decide to pursue them myself. Meister tells me mm. cannot happen. I am not God woke. Ah. But in my heart, I know I'm uh, I try. That's unfortunate. I burn the root. I breathe the smoke and it burns me back. And here you are. No air fills my lungs. Only fire. When the darkness falls, I cannot cry out. I leave my life behind with a shameful whimper. The spirit looks at you regretfully. It is hard to hear of such power and not covet it for yourself. I lie to myself and convince myself that I am special, but I am not special. I am dead. Uh, I am not special. I am dead. In fact, I'm taking this back because I want it. Okay. What are you looking at? Yes, stop gawking at the shields. You ought to be quite used to such journeys into that stone realm by now. Meanwhile, the acorn draws nearer. I read through some tomes. I saw that cranky old lizard carry. It's a fascinating lead, but nothing like the power we need to stop the Knights of Prey and their wicked plot. I know. Yes, well, we all do as we must. Yes, Burkus, obviously our gargantuan friend is doing its best too. That goes without saying. I owe our shield my life several times over. I hardly need to grovel and thank it each time. I'm sure it knows I appreciate it. Now, if you're quite finished ogling your favorite long-legged scratching post, we need to get on and save the world already. Yeah. 
The Meister sits slumped in her chair. What news? Can you channel enough source? Are you powerful enough to proceed? Then why, pray tell, are you wake? She's like dying and shit. I feel like there might be something that I can do about that. Not sure. <laughs> uh, where am I going? Oh yeah, we must continue the story. And shit. All right, so we got a couple of quests to go. We've got. I kind of want to do my character quests. Oh. Uh, Why is he giving me the option to just walk across this? Oh, because that's like a shallow. Oh, shit. Huh. Wait, my team. What the fuck? What are you guys doing? Come on, lads. It's time to go. Go up the ladder. Sneak into the city, no big deal. All right, let's um, I want to go back to where the uh, the carts were. I guess that's an innate skill now, isn't it? Yeah, okay, that's good. Cause, uh, yeah, all right, after this, uh, we're gonna do. The shivering magister spirit mumbles to himself, tightly clutching three golden stalks in one fist. Noting the attention, he straightens, revealing insignia spelling Tinnit, and a jagged wound spilling his innards upon the ground. He reaches a ghostly hand into your oh. chest and squeezes your heart. You become Tinnit, his memories flooding over you and replacing your own. Warmth, comfort. You are Kinnit, playing cards with your mates in a cozy barracks. You stagger to tipsy attention as a white clad magister commands that one of your troops. We're looking take a for him, account. actually. It's a one man job, a job ah. that no man wants. Your sly eyed troop leader holds out straws to you and the others. I don't think it matters which one I pick here. You feel the short straw and hear them shout, Kinnit! You know what that means. A lonely traipse in the cold dark. You dawdle and grumble all the way, sobering as you find the overturned caravan. Massacre. Your lantern reveals ravaged corpses in every direction. Inhaling sharply, 
You smell a thick black stench you remember second hand from the few void woken corpses your troops have found. No. Kinnit's tears fall from your eyes as you recognize his beloved weapon master, lifeless. A dark thicket rustles to your left. A claw rakes savage stripes across your guts. As Kinnit dies, all goes black. Staggering back from Kinnit's deathly grasp, only your own blood now pumps through your heart. With your living eyes, you see him trembling in front of you, desperately holding out three straws. As you pluck the short straw from his hands, Kinnit weeps with relief. His wound disappears in turn, and he is restored to the model image of a hmm. strapping young soldier. He looks around, then looks at you, and then he smiles. Smiling broadly, Kinnit fades away. The spirits of a magister and a dwarf are locked in ethereal combat. Their vicious blows make no impact, yet they struggle on, mid-snarl. The dwarf spies your presence and staggers back to address you. Sorcerer, you must hate the Reds as much as I do, eh? Rightly so. Reds had sorcerers locked up tight in that caravan. And you know where they were sending them. You look like you've been there yourself. The Magister lunges for the dwarf. His ah, the old clear. bow glitch. <laughs> Anna, you saw it with your own eyes. You... No, sorcerer's law void woken, and you know we'd all still be alive if you hadn't attacked our caravan. But before, before, just before it all, void woken stole the sorcerers along the cliffs, headed for seven knows where. Not to flip your flocks or nothing. But tis more that my boss, Lohar, is against magisters than for sorcerers, if you know what I mean. The magister snorts in disdain. Lohar, I should have known. Sorcerer, if you want to stay alive around these parts, you'll stay far, far away from that walking vermin. But, on the other hand, maybe you should... The dwarf eyes you... I've already seen him, so... His mouth is the magister shrugged. Or if I knew that, we'd have taken him out long ago. All I can say is he's somewhere. The bull flits its ghostly tail at a non existent fly. It registers your presence. <laughs> well, As soon as they set me full in that there wagon, I should have known this was how things was going to end. Of course, I can see the future, and I did see this, but I honestly thought I was sleeping. You sure you want to know? All right, let me have a look see here. The bull shakes itself, swallows the cart, clears its throat. World's going to end. Oh, let me think about that soon. Nice. Me. <laughs> Good. Here. I don't suppose you could do me a favor on it's this here army so as I can make my way to the field of echoes. The bull nods its thanks and gently fades away. I knew you'd say yes. Oblivious to your presence, the two spirits weave their dance of hate. The Magister turns to you. In you dare strike me! There's nothing. You guys are fucking idiots. Alright. Okay. Alright, dude. Okay, let's, um... Alright, we'll turn that into Lohar after we finish Beast's quest, which... Oh yeah, that. Do not doubt our divine order will prevail. I'll I'll show you. Ooh, all right. 
reckon we've got a... We're probably going to end up having to progress the story just a little bit more, actually. So let's do Efan's thing. Sawmill somewhere in the region, right over there. That's quite a ways away. Okay, I was just checking to see if there's a bridge on the other side of the city. There definitely is. I'm definitely sneaking back into the city, because if I don't, that lady's gonna fucking get mad again. And be annoying and shit. Why is that like that, man? I don't have my attack button. Did that fix it? It did, nice. Okay. That's kinda I don't know why that happens in so many games with bows. I guess it's like a I don't know. I don't know. Is that guy still here? Oh he's moving now. Wow. Damn, not Joe's mom. Watch it. Those are source elves. Oh. Ah. I see. Alright. Well, we will not be going over there then. Smells a sorcerer. How else? Ah, yes. Okay. It looks like there is another way to sneak out. Without being caught by source hounds. Is that bitch? This better not be that bitch. You're good. Damn, all your fish are just poisoned, huh? That's, uh... It's kind of unfortunate. Anyways. Let's see what this guy has to say. And we will proceed onward. Hey there! A fisherman stares at the water, muttering to himself. The missus will kill me. She'll tear me a new mouth halfway down my neck. Mm. You see nothing. Look on and throw me wedding ring in the water. Ah. I could do that. I could. But seeing as the ring has a bit of sauce to it. Like as not, going in there will attract Voidwoken. All things equal, between an angry wife and Voidwoken, I'm leaning towards the wife. Just a hint. Nothing that concern a magister. Made me feel that little bit more confident in yourself. Maybe it was all in my head, but I felt like the ring may be more attractive to the women. I wouldn't do the dirt or anything, but it's good for the ego. Keeps the wife on her toes, too. <laughs> I'll get it I'm myself. You to risk your life on account of me and my marital woes, but if you fancy a paddle, you can go right ahead. I do fancy a paddle. What's this? I found something. Where? Where did you find something? Okay, but like actually. Man said he found something. I ain't find shit.
and said, what's this? I found something. You're back! And you're still alive! You'll help if you can, I suppose. It definitely said that I found something, but I, I can't, I don't know. Usually when that happens, something lights up, you know? Checking to make sure I didn't actually find it. I did not. You know what? I'm going to move on. This is what I would say. Uh, you know what? I'll come back for that later. Think we can just get past these guys? Did I ever tell you of my past in the Divine Order? No, you didn't. Would you like to know about it? Or would you like to tell me Your about it? looks uneasy. Even Hangdog. Ever tell you I worked with Lucian? Fact is, I was once pretty high up in his Divine Order. He was... a good man. closes his eyes as he speaks, forehead creasing with effort. You know sacrifices had to be made during the war? Well, Lucian knew he needed to use Death Fog to eliminate the Black Ring. But doing that would... would kill the elves also. So he came up with a plan. I was to hurry through the forests with a rift portal for the elves, so they could escape before the Death Fog exploded. But something went wrong. I was too late. The death fog exploded just as I arrived, and the the elves were were. He shoots you a grateful look and the smallest of smiles. Onwards. Hmm. <laughs> little flies. The power recoils from your attack. It clearly wasn't expecting any resistance. You can feel it trying to maintain control on the dwarves' minds, but it's slipping. The eyes of the dwarves, once a solid black, clear for a moment. They look about in confusion, in panic, and then race for the bushes. Ambush. Hmm. Yeah, we need you guys to get out of the oil. I'm going up there. Is that it, huh? Ooh, wow. 
what the fuck happened up here? I could have just waited, but listen. I would like to know what the hell happened up here. Whatever happened here? Massacre. Holy shit. Expected nothing less. They wander across a tragedy, and how do they spend their time? Gawking at the dead like they're nothing more than a sack of cloth and flesh to be looted. Bloody parasite. Wait, can you see me? Elves, teeth. How'd you manage that? The dwarf's eyes narrow, and he squares his shoulders. His hand seems to instinctively drop to his waist. That a fact. And here I thought our darling Bishop Alexander was the only one. So God woken a powerful, eh? Powerful enough to control mind. To force brothers to draw steel against each other. I mean, I know a couple of people that can do that, but... Not to that extent. Well, someone out there can. As sure as the sea's wet. We were doing some work around these parts. Smuggling, stealing. Removing the odd witness, you know, bread and butter stuff. We were sitting here, eating, drinking, telling tales. When some of the lads, they, their eyes turned black as pitch. Next thing I know, my best mate's buried his dagger in my gut, and there's void woken everywhere you look. Them that didn't die were carried off to the cave. Might be I was the lucky one, lying there, bleeding out. Heh, <laughs> was the day I'd have to cut you just for asking. I don't suppose it makes much of a difference now. The cave was our base, where we wrecked, smuggled, and stored the loot. The entrance is through the ruins over yonder. Oh, they're good if it do you. Might be swarming with void woken by now. Did he die a hero? Did he? Did he really? Are these the people I'm supposed to be talking to or about? Oh shit, you know what? They might be. These cuz the dude mentioned like um smugglers who smuggle stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh kind words. Most we can hope for now is some peace in the Hall of Echoes. Right. Yeah, I'm still going to loot you though. That's uh that's still going to happen. <laughs> Still going to be investigating your camp and stealing all of your things. A spillage all over the floor. Not the spillage. Oh, I grabbed it. Why did I grab it? I'm going up there. It's locked. can't get down but you sir you have telekinesis all right beast open this bitch up while I jump back down we're level nine huh this guy's level ten Boy, lads, clear this out, will you? Appreciate that. I'm gonna look over here, see what this is. See what that is. See what that is. You didn't do 
a very bang up job, I will say. Wait, I gotta check this meeting. A key. Interesting. I'll take that. Um, is there a way off of this cliff that does not involve me? Jumping. Oh, stairs. Yes, of course. We said a cave. I don't like that. Well, that's a whole area. What's down here? I'm kind of interested. Probably nothing. Interesting. Okay, this is around where I just came from, yeah? Maybe not. Oh, this is around the way. Okay, this is the other way. Okay, we don't need to be over here. I'm gonna have to get used to this, uh, this area. And it's, a uh, interesting topography. Those roses of some kind? I want them. Oh, mushrooms. Give me those. What is bubbling? Is that a fast travel location? Yeah, let's go there. Let's go there. Where's where's the lads at? We move. I don't know what that is, but I want it. There's somebody over there. It's not a person. I thought it was a person. Stands before you in silence. Oh, is this not a fast travel location? It's not. Here lies Patrick, prophet. He perished in this place, predicting the downfall of Brackus once. That's no way to die. Brackus was quite the tyrant. That deals damage to me what too, doesn't it? Hmm. As the torches around you flicker and crack to life, you hear a low groan. That does it do damage to me. Then crescendos until your chest rattles and your head buzzes. She has 186 magic armor and it took almost all of it out. Or I think it did take all of it out because he started burning. Rackers, Rex! God damn you to this hell in which I suffer! God damn these burning flames! You boil my blood only to stand idle? The indignity fans the flames! Your question only fans the flames. The anguish is unbearable. But just when the agony subsides, another pilgrim makes her way to the shrine and puts flame to the torches. They think to honor me. Instead, they incinerate me. You summon me but don't know my name. I am the great prophet Patrick. I knew Bracchus and knew his secrets. I saw his rise and fall as woven into the tapestry of time. He branded my truth as blasphemy, and I burned for it. I live that horror. The truth invites danger. Some would sooner be swallowed by the void than tell it. Wait. Wait. You. Wait. <laughs> I see it. That was a lot of shit. <laughs> follow path consumed by fire. You must take my gift from among the flames. With it, you will know truth. With it, you can... Uh, run! Uh, 
The rumble reaches a deafening forte, then dissipates. The voice is gone. Only the whisper of the wind fills your ears. Oh, okay. I don't know what any of this does. I will take this, I guess. Uh, I feel like we should put out that fire, huh? Can you do anything about that? She can make it rain blood, but not regular rain. Surely you have the rain skill somewhere. Yeah. There we go. Sorry about that, old friend. What the hell is that? I kind of want to know. But in order to get there, I'd have to do... I could probably just jump down there. I think. Ooh. I don't think I should get that. I don't think I should touch that. Bad things will probably happen. Oh, I could, oh, you can just climb. See, I didn't know that. I didn't know that you could just go all the way around. But that doesn't look fun. Okay. Let me investigate this first. I kind of want to see what that does before fucking with the lamp. Especially since I would have had to pass it before getting here. Also, there's dead people. Let's look at that first. Let's see if he has a ghost. That ghost might tell me some shit about that lamp. Or not. Or maybe some shit about the, uh, whatever the fuck's happening here. Maybe not. Alright then. slab is covered with cryptic engravings, obscured in places by smears of dried blood. Symbols radiate from the slab's central rune, but you do not know their meaning. The central rune is stained black with a thousand years worth of blood. A relatively fresh coating flakes off in the wind. See if Beast knows anything about this. The enormous stone slab is covered with cryptic engravings, obscured in places by smears. Putting childhood lessons to good use, you translate enough to gather that this was a Death Herald altar. Death Heralds were responsible for ensuring that dwarves who did not die under the open sky were granted passage to the afterlife. Hmm. The central room is stained black with a... Interesting. How did people die here? There's just what looks like old ass dead bodies here. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, that's this might Lying be a fight. at your feet is a strange lamp of ancient design. Spots of gold shimmer through the thick grime that coats it. As you hunker down for a closer look, the lamp jerks slightly, almost imperceptibly. Grab a rock and smash it. <laughs> the lamp feels strangely hot to your touch. As you wipe away the years of dirt and grime, it trembles in your hand. Heavy smoke spills out of the spout of the lamp, falling to your feet, where it flows away from you. The vapor arches into the air and starts to take shape before you. Who summons the... What? One of you? His face twists into a sneer and he flexes his claws. What's wrong, Godwoken? Did the Seven turn you down too? Or are you here seeking even more power? I should strike you down where you stand, God Taint. Because it would be a kindness. I've known the power you feel, the promises you were made. I too was named Godwoken once. My god gave it all. P 
power, glory, hope. It was intoxicating until she took it away. Hmm. Deep inside, you can feel your god stirring. It's recoiling, revolted. No wonder Zor's Stissa turned this one away. Unworthy, she said. Unworthy to be the vine. So she gave it to another. Mm hmm. What kind of a monster gives you that power only to strip it from you? To promise you will be the light of the world and then cast you into darkness. There was so much wrong with the world. So much that I needed to fix. So I sought power elsewhere. The void said I could have a power. Ah, power, you see, that's the, the kicker. The that's where you fucked up, you dumbass. <laughs> Like any god woke up, even if I lack my freedom. It laughed as I was sealed away in that lamp. Be the light of the world, god woken, it said. You fucking what did you expect? When you betray someone you fucking Okay, dude. I may be bound to that lamp, but I can still strike you down with the thought. Other fools will find my prison. I will have my freedom someday. And until then, I am happy to do my bit to rid the world of one god's puppet. The next passing imbecile can have your wish. You see the rage in the Jin's eyes fading. He flexes his claws as he thinks over what you've said. Perhaps you're right. I have spent so long locked away with nothing but anger for company. Very well, God Woken. Tell me, what do you wish for? Do you wish for power, wealth, knowledge, or to see your enemies gone? Hmm. Hmm. Money is always good. Hmm. I kind of want to fucking just see all the options. I don't want to fucking... We're doing it again, fuck it. Alright, save the game. And then we make the choice. Cool, alright. Uh, let's try wealth for wealth. Wealth can bring you happiness and joy, or it can sit forever in a vault. I pray that your heart is not as cool as these jewels. You have had your wish, God Woken. We are done. What did he give me? That's a lot. Wait. What do you give me? Oh, just... Oh, wow. That's a lot of money. And they got the lamp, too. Alright. Wait. Alright. We're just gonna... We're just gonna... I just wanna see all... I just wanna see all the different possibilities. That's all I want. are hairy and shit. I never really noticed. That's kind of weird and random, but listen. I want In power. Right hands, power is a t Take this and... You have had your wish, God what I get? Big sword. Huh. All right. Do it again. Run it back. I'm probably going to stick with the wealth option. But the other two might be interesting. I figured the power would just give me some kind of weapon. Or like a stat boost or some shit. But I don't know if that's like possible. Remind. There are as many ideas in the world as grains of sand. 
We've had your wish, God Woken. We are done here. Pick of a fight. I can just buy this. Alright. One more time. So, that that does make sense. Weapon. Uh, other thing. Weapon, money, spell. I wonder what the last one's gonna be. Probably something fucking weird. Ah, uh, the power to destroy. And... Had your wish, God Woken. We are done here. Or a scroll. That's pretty cool. All right, we're going with money. Technically, right? Technically, that's not. I'm 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 out on a limb to defend myself. Technically, that's not saves coming, right? Because we picked the first option we picked. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we're going well, with money. You cool. Thank you. you now we have double money because we have this, and we can sell the fucking lamp as well. Oh, wait, I forgot about this. Send this to Beast probably. Uh, is there anything else I've forgotten? No. Uh, where's the thing I just gave you? That's just a lot better. That's, that is so much better. Holy shit. Send this to Efan. You might need better armor. I'm not sure. He does, actually. How much armor do you have now? 200. That's so much. Anyways, nice. All right. What the fuck happened down here? Let's go down there. Let's see what happens. I have my sight! Oh no, not a sorcerer attack. Or a fucking, what's it called attack? And there's a chest up there. I'm taking that too. Oh my god. Your Get the come, fuck out. But this no. It's ready for you. It's hold on the dwarves never... Push back to your dummy. On the case about our business. Wait, guys, you guys need to be in this fight. Go. Okay. How many people are there? Three of them. Oh, well, there's a lot more than three. One, two, three, four of them? They have a little bit of health, but not actually that much looking like they're kind of lacking in magic armor as well or um physical armor which is good for me um let's go right up to here how you doing Are you all the way the fuck over there? Oh my god, how is he gonna get over to me? Oh, around the back way. Okay. Probably should not have jumped in the middle of everybody, considering that I don't have a whole lot of, uh. anything here. Why would you go down there? 
Are you dumb? Man, I just, I don't understand why the fuck he's, he gets in combat from way back there. It's kind of weird. And these two don't. Don't do that. Hey, who did you hit over there? Did you really hit my fucking squirrel? Are you? These guys are not smart, huh? Like at all. That's kind of weird. Oh, wait. Yeah, I've got to get you to learn this shit. Anyways. I'm coming down. What up, bitch? Everybody's got magic armor, dude. What's up with that? Ooh, that looks dangerous. That looks very dangerous. Do I want to do that? I don't really. I might anyway, though. at somebody else, but... Is there a trap right here? What does that trap do? Kind of... Kind of want to know. Hey, where did she go? What are you raggedy bitch? doing trash how's the path interrupted here what That's really stupid. Can I hit her at all? No, but I could have from here. How much does this do? 35? Okay, one, two, three. to die. Why are you even over here? I'm gonna need you to back the fuck up, ma'am. Where do you think you're going? That's kind of weird. Okay, I guess. Um... Get right behind them, and then don't let them play. That's your job. Cool. Um, I don't 
know what your problem is, dude, but you need to stop. Blocked. Man. That doesn't hit? On what grounds does that not hit? Okay, dude, you know what? Nice one. Fuck you, goddammit. about to die, which is good. I can't move because I'm stunned. I can't cast anything anywhere. I am stunned and can't move. There's not a whole lot I can do right now, actually. running low on magic armor. Not necessarily, but I can cast it on him anyway. There's not a whole lot more I can do. I'm just gonna end turn. Uh, you're gonna go up and beat this lady's ass, though. Bitch. That's it. That's the whole thing. Why? Why are you doing this again? I get fucked. No atrophy. You dumb bitch. Alright. This time this works. Is what I would say. Really? Wow. Can you die? Oh my god, you're so annoying. Oh yeah, you guys still don't get to play, by the way. They have so much health, man. It's kind of weird. Okay, you can stop now. There's not a whole lot that she can do right now. Oh wait, she's not crippled anymore. Bet. Just gonna go on ahead down here. And cast a lightning bolt. These guys have full magic armor, don't they? Fuck, they do. What the fuck is happening over here? Okay. Okay, that's what I would say. I guess. Man, fuck. I wish I could, like, actually do something. But I'm kind of, uh, not being able to do that. They're awake now, which is not good. So I'm gonna make it rain. Uh, how much? 106? These guys have 241. That's more than 106. Okay. Next turn, I'm gonna have to climb up there. I guess. Alright, now I'm kind of upset.
Could you just fucking die? Oh my god, she's still alive. Stop! What is- like, stop doing that. None of this is going to help you. Immune to taunted, what? That's kind of weird. Okay. Fucking bitch, dude. Are you serious? You can do that with a dead body? Where did you send him? What? Okay, dude. That's how you feel. Alright, I guess. problem. It's not what I wanted to do. But thank you for the Man, this is... that's it. Yep. Good. Fucking Christ, man. Huh. Huh. Yeah, well now I'm up here, so you guys are fucking... You guys are kinda dumb. Anyways, shut the fuck up. Who needs healing? You're already recovering. Let's just do this, yeah? Okay, I've been fighting this fucking bitch for like 20 years, man. I would like to fucking move on. Oh my god. I'm gonna fucking... I'm going to murder you. Wow, good! Uh-huh. Right, right, right. So, what uh, what happens, right? What happens when I go? All 
right here, yeah. And uh, I'm gonna send you. There. Now you get to deal with them. And that's fun. So, uh, good luck with that. And I will be down here. Just kind of vibing and shit. Whose turn is it? Did it say out of sight or blocked? Blocked, I see. Good. <laughs> if I could Phoenix dive onto them and then stop them from playing, I think I'm going to do that. Hey, do I need healing? Yes, actually. Uh, I'll yield to none. We get it. Fuck. That's it, actually. That's all I should do, because he was frozen. Alright. Now I get to use my weapons, and now you're all going to fucking die. Holy shit. Who's next? This guy. On the floor. Oh, he doesn't get to go until next turn. Interrupted? Of course it is. I could just move, actually. There we go. Okay. That could have been better, but, you know, it's whatever. You can do it. Alright, he's almost here, boys. Actually, he is here. It's time to make him not let you play the game. Good. That's it. Probably should have healed, but... You missed? He's on the fucking floor, dude. How did you miss? Oh my god. Out of sight, huh? Just skip your turn, dude. Fuck. Somebody kill him. I kind of want to see how much damage this does. Just, just real quick. So... Say your prayers. I'm trying to get him to get hit by as many of these as possible. That was incredibly unnecessary, but I had to do yes. it. Black is the grave. Anyways.
All right, let's investigate. Taking that. Am I not allowed to loot these bodies? Hello, sir? Wait, but like actually? Can I not? Okay, I can. Why is his... Okay, you know what? I'm not going to question it. I'm not going to question why his body lootage is all the way the fuck over there. Let's talk to ghosts. That's unfortunate. I'm going to take your shit though. Oh yeah, I forgot. I sent her up there. There, there was something in the ground. Back in the cave, mate. Like... The dwarf bangs his palm against his head. Damn it. I can't think. Alright. What does this guy have to say? The spirit traces runes in the air. You recognize the gesture. It's the same one you perform when gifting others with your blessing. Your blessing leaves you as a stream and returns to you as a river. You see through the woman's eyes. You feel the discomfort of a source collar as you tug at it. Then, a clatter and a shriek. A winged void woken has grasped you in its talons. It takes you to the air as you flail impotently. The Void Woken tightens its grip until you feel blood seeping from your punctured flesh. Time passes, minutes perhaps, or hours. Then, the talons release you. First air and wind, then a thud. Blackness. Light. You peer through the fog to see two dwarves, eyes as black as coals. They are dragging you through grass and stone. Perfect bait. The master will be pleased, drones one of them. The blessing fades. The spirit's hands are still. She looks to the sky, searching, then lowers her head and flashes the tiniest of smiles. Hmm. I don't even remember which direction I came from or where I was going. I think I was going over here. No, because that's where the guy is. Where was I going? No, I know I passed this. Where was I going, man? I don't even remember. Maybe I was just going this way. But this is all places I've been before. So we should probably go this way. Back the way I came. Let's get in through the top, shall we? How do we get up there? Easily, I reckon. He does not have a spirit Never. here. Hmm, I see. Yes, of course. What's up, Chief? They don't die and shit.
Adds a chance to explode on movement. Oh my god, what the fuck? Yo, clear the way, bro. I ain't having this. I didn't do anything. Shit. Non-cursed surfaces. I see. Perhaps it's time to create a little bit of necrofire. And then we wait. Actually, you know what? Fuck that. We rain. Does rain take out necrofire? I don't think it does. Oh, it does. Maybe. It does not. So now we just have to wait, I guess. Oh, but now it's regular fire. Alright, that's your job. Cursed smoke or some shit. Imagine. Cursed poison. I guess we deal with that the same way that we deal with the other one, yeah? Fuck it, I'm going up there. Can't tell me no. There's definitely a trap like right the fuck there though. Okay. Careful, I spotted a trap. There it is. I need you guys to back the fuck away from the trap. Please and thank you. Bro, hit it! That almost did a lot more than I was comfortable with dealing with. Do not follow the light. There's no lighthouse, no friendly fire. Midnight flames are reasonably organized by doors and filters lure you into their private room. Trust me. Oh, yeah. I see. Damn. Let's see what this guy has to say. The spirit looks out to sea, then to the fire roaring behind him, and whistles. Ooh, wee. Pretty cunning of them, don't you think? Light the fire and draw them in. And an effective one, too. No harsh dwarves light it, ship's captains follow it, and sploosh, the cargo spilled all over the rocks, ripe for picking. Mm. Saw a biggin go down just the other day. They say those wreckers are drowning in contraband. No wonder Top Brass figured something was up. Those arcs fellows Raymond reports to. He's the one sent me here. I'm one of them, all right. Well, I was. But yeah, dwarf magisters are as rare as a three-eyed imp, but when you're hard up, well, sometimes you've got to make choices. Turns out the folks around Reaper's Cove don't take too kindly to magisters sneaking about, especially not the dwarven kind. One of them was here tending to the fire, got me before I got him. Never got to the fire, now I'm stuck and ships still crash. At least it's a pretty view. Oh, that's mighty kind of you. I can't very well do it myself. Well, you probably guessed that. I don't think I'm going to be putting out that fire. I definitely just lied to my, that man's face, but it's fine. 
All right, we are definitely bound to encounter some kind of combat here. We have got to be ready. My blood is ice. The void is here. Ooh. Oh shit, do we have a fast travel point somewhere around here? Because I do not have my void skill. My, my Yeah, my I almost said void point skill. My fucking, the thing. I don't have that. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about taking this fight. Oh, bro, this is some easy shit, bro. Matter of fact, let's just fucking sneak. Everybody sneak. We move. There's a lot of them here. Can I take this fight? I feel like I can. Especially since I have the elements of surprise. And the high ground to start with. What's the cooldown on this for? Three hundred armor, fuck. That's a lot. I'm getting a spot where I can hit that battle mage. If she cast it or not, oh, she did. Did I get atrophied? Of course, I got fucking atrophied, dude. Oh my god, that's so fucking lame. Jesus Christ. That's how you want to play the game, I guess, dude. Haha, -ha, atrophy. I'm so fucking cool. Look at me, dude. Can't get up there. I got my whole kit. There's not a whole lot more I can do. Oh, I can throw grenades while atrophy. That's kind of crazy. Here, hold this bitch. That's it, that's all I got. You're gonna die next turn, so I'd... Okay, you're just getting closer so that you can especially die next turn. I don't know. And now I'm crippled. Good, yes! Fantastic. That's... That's great. That's fucking swell. How much damage does it do? 29, so however much that is. Uh, fuck, I'm just gonna hit her. Um, are they still immune to being provoked? Yeah, that's kind of weird. I don't know what else I want to do here. That fucking dumbass squirrel's gonna die because he keeps walking through the fire like an idiot. Excuse me? 
that's fucking annoying. Probably not the best idea, but it's whatever. Sorry about this beast. You'll be alright. Dude, I fucking hate everyone here. They're just all insist on not letting me play. I wish I could fucking play the game. That would be pretty cool. Okay, well, for that, you don't get to fucking play the game. The whole thing. I don't think I have to worry about her anymore, so I'm just gonna have him go down. Wow, he can walk very far. I want you to come from that direction, actually. Incredibly annoying. Ooh, you have to summon him very close. And the rest of this area is ladders, so we will not be doing that. I'm mad. How did that miss? You're standing right next to him, dude. He's fine. Nice one. You missed. How, okay, well, whatever, dude. Where are you going? Okay, I guess. I think she's dead next turn. What the fuck is that? 
the fuck kind of move are you doing, man? He's not decaying, is he? No, he's not. Okay. Let's just make sure he doesn't die, yes. Anyways, hey, how you doing? Fucking... Oh, he dies. Fuck me, man. That's kind of annoying. How would you do that? You fucking pussy. Come back here. Uh, hey, listen. I want you to go... I don't know, literally anywhere else, actually. You know what, into the fire, fuck you. All right, see you tomorrow. Can I see anybody to, no, I can't. Hope I don't slip and fall on the ice. Yep, there it is, wow, good. I like the movement. Okay. I think I lose this fight actually. Wow, it's me finally being able to play the fucking game. Holy shit. Um, I really do want to help you. Trust me, I do. But... Ouch. I have that skill. Oh, she's still alive. Yeah, well. Why am I. Can't bring the camera up, dude. Fuck. How do you only have 3 AP? Oh, he's shocked. That's fucking annoying. All I can really do is threaten him with a, uh... And he's just gonna cast flight. Dude, what a f bunch of fucking pussies, dude. That's so annoying. Okay, you fucking cunt. to die actually. It's not very good. How is the path interrupted? I don't understand. Interrupted by what, dude?
should have knocked him down. Why are you over there? I fucking hate you. Dude, this game is so fake, man. Fuck. Oh my god, my last load is all the way back here. We haven't saved yet? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Holy shit. That's Welcome. fucking annoying. Had your wish, God Woken. We are done. I don't think I'm actually gonna have her learn any of those. Possibly this one. Hmm. All right, let's see. Sell this now. And this. Interesting. Say the least.
Hello, Sally. That's a lot of gold. Actually, I kind of just want the money. You don't have enough money for me, friend. I really want this shield now. Because that's just so much better. Spells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. If Anne Ben Mezdes are living graves, who could forget? Best night's business the healer had in months. Now, come on, back into a cage where you belong. Your little tricks won't work on me, Ben Mezd. One eye squint. Oh, it's you, all right. It's definitely you. Your little tricks won't work on me, Ben Mezd. She considers your... Uh, how much? The Magister grabs the coin and looks around shiftily. Oh, then shit. turns back to you. Get out of here. And don't let me catch you again. Think about it. Okay. How much money do we have? Quite a bit, actually. Okay, we're gonna give him... Just a better shield. Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, I tell you. But it's so much. We're safe from our friends. Never forget. Fine, Oselli. I think I'm going to beat the weapon that he has. Ooh. Wait a second, what the fuck? How did I miss this? How did I miss this? I don't think it's better. It does more, well, it doesn't even do more. Well, it does a comparable amount of damage, but I don't think it's better. That is so fucking much money. But it's so much armor, dude. I have 3k in wares. Spells worse over here than a 
gonna take Aegis instead. It's less expensive. I don't need to be spending all of my fucking money. Fuck, this is going to be me spending money. Actually, here. It's kinda weird. Oh wait, and this. Forgot about that. Okay. And that's worth 500. Spend a little bit of gold. What's this? Uh, 400 extra? Sure. Okay. There you go. Give me some of my fucking gold back, you bitch. I guess Phoenix dive again. It's worth 120. I need this actually, maybe. All right. So we've got more stuff for the lads. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, wait, no, don't put that on. Not in any mood to talk about it. Put that on. You put that on. Yes. All right. It's all coming together eventually. And I'm going to go get my shit. And Los is just gonna be left out to dry, actually. Actually, let's go shopping for her. Fuck it. Because I actually think I need her to get good shit. Okay. buying things. That's really expensive.
Hmm. It's too late right now. This is the wizard lad. My word, but you do look exhausted. I bet you. Summon Fire Slug. Ooh. Laser Ray. Wow. Fuck, man. This shit's so good. That one's so expensive, man. Mm. I'll be back. Yep, yep. I will be back. I just want this shit that you got, bro. I should probably just buy all of this, huh? Because it just increases my shit. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy this. Both of these are for myself, but I don't care. Ah, that's more money than I have, actually. Oh, that shit's expensive. Yeah, let's not buy that. We'll be we'll definitely be buying this though. I definitely need new gloves, actually. Maybe that other guy has better gloves for me, though. These gloves are not good.
More shopping. Where are we? Okay, I was concerned. I thought we got held up in a fight or something. Yeah, I know you've seen me like 30 times today, but listen, okay? <laughs> Actually, I think this guy has anything else I would want. I'm really thinking about those fucking spells, dude. You know? I should probably buy this. Yeah, let me buy this real quick. I don't have enough money for that. What did I buy from this man? Did I buy anything from him? pretty good. What? Oh yeah, I have to go back and take away my what's it called to do that. I forget. What else did I just buy? What did I just buy from the other guy? I don't think I bought anything from him actually. I think I just looked. Okay, let's go back to the boat. Okay, I gotta respect again. How do I take away my marker? No, stop. Oh my god. Respecking time. Again. Alright, specifically you. Uh, we're gonna get rid of his Geomancer and give him Polymorph instead. Or Polymorph 2. I have Polymorph 3. What the fuck? Wait. How do you have Polymorph 3 and can't learn this spell? Okay. Well, I don't know what the fuck that was about, but... We're gonna take this away anyways. Um...
Do I need pyro? What abilities do I have that rely on pyro? I don't think I even need that shit. I'm gonna give her a mnemonic. I don't think, um, you know what, I think I take out Glass Cannon. Considering that I have, and I'm lowering my constitution is probably a bad idea. You know? So I think I go for far out again, right? That makes sense. Or maybe I do want to go for a glass cannon. I don't know, getting hit by things even when you have armor is kind of annoying. So I think I'm going to pass on that. I tried it out. It didn't necessarily work uh, as I wanted it to. And so here we are. Talents, I think this is all what we're going to stick with. Um, oh, you know what? Why does he have comeback hit? Huh. I feel like I want him to be an opportunist instead. This all looks good. third stuff does he even have? I don't think he has any. He has a little bit, but like, I'm not using any of that right now. I don't think he needs air thurge. We'll give him the two from his gear, or whatever, but I think we pump it into a Kind of feel like we pump it into hydro. Oh, 
Uh, or warfare, because that gives us more bonus to uh, health as well. Fuck it, we're doing that. trade for this I don't remember escapist okay just making sure everything's good she needs to learn like 20 new spells or something You actually have books that you need to read, don't you? I swear I had another one for her, but maybe not. Might as well read this one, too. Can't use it yet, but might as well have it. Not memorize that one just yet. Hmm. I think we're good. We are not good. We are good. Okay, good. Ooh. Where's Phoenix Dive? Yeah, we need to make sure this is in the, uh... In there. Hmm. That's good. Save that. I think I should stop. It's been like five hours. Mm. Oh my God. This game's really great, except when it pulls some annoying shit on you. Then it's kind of annoying. But other than that, I'm a big fan. Wait, we went from here to there, not... Okay, interesting. Um, Let's go back to the town square. 
And I think that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Expect more of this uh, off-stream type stuff uh, in the future. You should be watching it if you want to be caught up with Divinity or other stuff. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.